Welcome back everybody, I hope you're having a beautiful day And I hope you're in the mood for the Neckbeard subreddit Because I've got a lot of it for you today It's been a while since we've had some compilations And I feel like it's the perfect time So yeah, with that being said, thank you for being here And I hope you have a wonderful time yeah, we've been reading so much stuff like this. Women can't fight as well as a man. Can you fight as well as a man? Incoherent neckbeard screaming. Yeah, 100%. I think we read a post on the incel subreddit. And yeah, pretty much the exact same. I don't even want to read this one. It's so bad. But they're basically saying they can't wait until they die. Because it'll be a good look for the woke army. I'm sure the optics will play well at home. This is civilization in decline. Line. I'm gonna fight for my country. You are civilization in decline. Yeah, 100%. Like, not only was that revolting, but yeah, the audacity to even say that. They're literally fighting for their country, and you're sitting there being like, oh, this is literally civilization in decline. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. My neighborhood calls me the sword guy because I carry a sword around with me everywhere. Is this the one we read a while ago? I can use my sword in non lethal Lethal ways too, for example, hitting the attacker with the flat of the blade. Hopefully it never comes to that. And in case anyone cares, lol, my sword is a beautiful full tang. D2 tool still, gladius with a rosewood handle, named the Rose Thorn. Yeah, Rose Thorn sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure we've read this. Everybody calls me the sword guy. I had a guy try mugging me this morning with a tiny pocket knife, so I just reached behind my trench coat and unsheathed my sword. Is this the same person? And he immediately pocketed his knife and said he made a mistake targeting me. LMAO. These people. Yeah, I don't want to be rude, but that didn't happen. A hundred percent. Also, that's so funny that we read that after the last post because it could be the same person. They call me the sword guy. I simply pulled Rose Thorn out of my trench coat. Yeah, the OG meme. When boys wear hats. Yeah, oh my god, there's nothing like a boy in a fedora Nah, like I don't want to be rude Because I feel like you can wear a fedora And not be a neckbeard I'm standing with the fedora <laughs> It's not my style But I'm sure you can wear one And not be a neckbeard You might just have to be like middle aged and European Or something <laughs> No, but there is definitely a way You can wear them, I'm sure Soulmate, I'm looking for my soulmate I just finished building a dungeon In my basement, should we keep reading this and I need a woman who will commit to living in it for a year or so I'll bring you food and there's a bathroom and a TV down there if you have a fantasy about being kidnapped held against your will or tied up in someone's basement this might be a perfect opportunity for you what <laughs> room and board are free for the right woman you just need to commit to never leaving for the term of our contract and performing anytime I have a need my last girlfriend split last week and got a restraining order against me so I do have space for somebody else now hit me up if this sounds like fun and you want to be my soulmate that's not real is it i like to censor people's faces but the person in this photo is just staring like this into the camera and yeah i'm uncomfortable so let's move on i made the mistake of mentioning that i met emma watson in a bar you had a drink with emma watson you're so lucky my friend can you please share the selfie and how was her skin her skin is the most attractive feature I think. She was beautiful in person. Yeah, I'm not sure if I still have it. This was back in 2012 when she was filming Noah. Not to sound like a creep, but seriously, I have Emma Watson wallpaper on my phone. How did she smell? I'm sorry to bother you with so many questions. Yeah, I think you're past the point where you can't sound like a creep. Can't say I remember her smell though. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> what did she smell like? Like, I know the last post with the basement was a lot more extreme, but they give off very similar energy. Gotta hide these eyes cause this soul is dark. I don't like the dark side. That's why I avoid mirrors so I can't see my evil twin on the inside hidden. Way deep down. No, that's not a neck beard. This is awesome. I love that so much. Gotta hide these eyes cause this soul is dark. <laughs> that's amazing. Bro, I couldn't relate more. No, like obviously it's a little bit goofy but it's not that bad. Drive to Walmart to buy some milk. 
tight mog a manlet, but he has kids, so he brood mogs me. Grab a shopping cart. Boomer greeter wrist mogs me. Oh well, at least I age mog. Get milk. Stand in line to check out. Futine Myers. Realize that she's looking at the guy behind me. Height mogged, neck mogged, beard mogged. Dog barks at me on the way out. Get species mogged, C word. And on the drive home, an F-150 mogs my Camry. Yeah, so what's really sad about this is I have no idea if they're joking <laughs> because we'd easily read something the exact same on the incel subreddit. And incels do have pretty much their own language, so it makes sense. On the drive home, an F-150 mogs my Camry. The car isn't trying to make you feel bad. The dog isn't trying to make you feel bad. The people who are told because they're just told aren't trying to make you feel bad. All this is is being super insecure about stuff, but you're twisting it in a way like it's their fault. You know, like, oh, I'm insecure about my height, so everybody that's taller than me is height mogging me. They're not doing anything. They're just happily going about their day. No, you're height mogging me. I really hope it's not real though, because that's not good. And if it is real, I hope they sort this out. That chick I went on a couple of dates with in June that I liked a lot, but had to move back to New York is dating someone. I can't believe she didn't save herself for me. Sorry, but what's wrong with that? You said that you had to move away? Wow, how did you find out? Women are such hooers. I'm such a nice guy and so intellectual. My brain is too high functioning for them. Yeah, so that can't be real, can it? That's a way to on the nose to not be joking. What the hell is wrong with women? They're trivial, hysterical creatures who need to be treated as pets and children. Not fully sentient humans capable of agency. This is why every single human civilization in history right up until a few years ago had virtually identical limits on women's rights. Wow, that's revolting. And let me guess, you have women problems? <laughs> Come on, you're calling women creatures? 11 years? There's a reason women his age don't want him. Neither do you. Why should a 29-year-old dude ever prefer a ran-through 29-year-old woman over a fresh, unspent 18-year-old girl? I want to cry and throw up. The CDC recommends wearing anime shirts to socially distance others away from you. Well, that person in the photo, like, oh my god, get away. <laughs> but yeah, this one is a joke. Yeah, exactly. Used a foil can stay mad. Imagine calling somebody used. That's so revolting. I don't even know how to put it into words. If you give a man swag, he'll get laid for a day. But if you give a man class, he'll get laid for life. Oh yeah. <laughs> I am a fancy, sophisticated gentleman with my trilby. If you give a man swag. I'm so happy we read this today. Oh, somebody's mixing Doritos and Mountain Dew together and making a delicious soup. Yummy. <laughs> it looks like if you could open somebody's stomach and just look at everything inside. I feel like it would look exactly like this. And that's revolting. An Arizona man was arrested after he allegedly faked Down syndrome and hired female caregivers to change his soiled diapers. Yeah, would you look at the time? It's wholesome memes time. A million percent. Can't do any more of this subreddit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to inform you that I passed my driver's license exam after my 11th attempt. Oh, congratulations. That's so awesome. I remember when I first got my license and it's such a good feeling, isn't it? So yeah, congratulations and drive safe. So cold. How to warm up. I love you. Oh, <laughs> that's so beautiful. I love this. Oh, the butterflies in my stomach are warming me up nicely. My immune system fighting invaders. My liver fighting toxins. My my brain fighting made up scenarios. <laughs> wow, that's so awesome. Sarah Anderson made that. Like I'll be in the shower and I'll think about something that doesn't even exist and then I'll get upset about it and it hasn't even happened. Yeah, not good, but can definitely relate. Earth from the aliens point of view. What about that planet? You want to stop down and check it out? Say hi. I'm only attracted to 2D women because 3D women don't appreciate nice guys and also I can draw my 2D wife in any... All right, yeah, we're we could like blow it up. That's cool. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you know what? There's no hope here. Listen, aliens, I know you make a good point, but don't blow the world up just because some people like 2D women more than 3D women. No one's perfect.
perfect. Oh my god, been seeing so many of these replica ads. Sometimes all a good person needs is that one missing piece. AI girlfriend, role play flirting, video calls, voice messages, and not suitable for work pictures. Yeah, I don't know, all this stuff about AI recently is kind of terrifying but yeah these replica ads are everywhere so they're obviously really trying to get people on there this one again a key that opens many locks is a master key a lock that opens for many keys is a crappy lock people are not locks okay stop it and if there is a problem here it's probably comparing human beings to keys and locks so somebody's in an op shop and there are a lot of fedoras in one place there's something sad about this like maybe not but i want to know the story about how they got here did they own a sword or were they a dapper gentleman we'll never know the top comment says somebody's grandpa passed away don't say that. <laughs> that makes it so much sadder. Oh, like probably, but come on. <laughs> I was imagining a dragon fighting neckbeard. POV, you work at a movie theater. Two tickets to the new Black Panther movie, please, for me and Milady. We only need one. Ah, Mikasa. It appears your reputation precedes you. <laughs> Well, then I suppose it's two for one on the hot dogs also. Uh, <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> I've got nothing else to say. That was amazing. A woman who is dramatic during sex should be discarded immediately. Shouting and yelling and screaming like a lunatic is a sign of emotional derangement and an indication of a manipulative or predatory woman. Probably a psychotic girl. The man is supposed to be ay 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 <laughs> dominant during it. He is the commander. It is his voice and tone that controls the mood of the horizontal mumbo. A woman is supposed to submit and this is shown at her receptive signals during the horizontal mumbo. That includes soft moaning and silent breathing. The man on the other hand is supposed to remain sober and in his masculine consciousness during sex. Yeah, wish I didn't read that. Generation X neckbeard starter pack. A really long ponytail. Monty Python. Me thinks. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this one is a good example of being a neckbeard isn't always a bad thing. Like you could be this person to a T. You could do everything that this says. And yeah, you might be a bit of a neckbeard, but it still doesn't mean you're a bad person. I kind of like these ones because they're a little bit wholesome. I'm lonely. If only I could meet a psychotic basement dwelling neat who spams racial slurs on 4chan all day. Yeah, so this one is more of an example of a bad neckbeard. Wow, the top comment says, Hi, lonely. I'm dad. <laughs> oh, that's so bad, but so good. Proof that all weebs really want is a supportive, voluptuous, maternal trad wife to raise a happy family. Living the dream. I haven't seen this, but there are a lot of comments here that are like, they are not a trad wife. But yeah, I feel like this comment here makes a good point. Very few men who feel entitled to a trad wife feel obligated to be a trad husband. If you want a woman who's going to pretend it's the 50s and fully tend to the household, the children and you, then you'd better have the charisma to attract her and a great job to provide for her. These weebs have no clue like how unworthy they are. Yeah, even though that does sound pretty harsh, I feel like there's definitely a point there. Oh my god. Milady, would you like a taste of... I'm not reading the rest of this. <laughs> Moving on. Oh my god, that's not very wholesome. Ladies, there's been a misunderstanding. No one finds these attractive except for ranchers and cattle. Why? What do you mean? Like, are you saying that that's a little bit too big? I've got my septum pierced and I don't even notice it. And also, like, there are so many people out there that do like the look of them. I don't think this is attractive, so therefore nobody else does. I'm sure some people do. Cards Against Humanity. Heed my voice, mortals. I am the god of wet dreams and I will not tolerate a fully 
dressed a female video game character. <laughs> That's so perfect. You made the main character of this game realistic? <laughs> How dare you, kind sir. 4chan battle station? Oh my god, there's a cat in there. I didn't see that for ages. Wow, look at that cute kitty. <laughs> the cat is the neck beard? Oh my god. I like this neck beard. But yeah, why did somebody make this? Also, is that bed okay? That doesn't look very supportive. And also, if that computer fell on you, you would die. So this photo on Twitter, and somebody says, as a you-know-what, a you-know-what file, I love this. Whoa. I'm so happy that we're almost at wholesome memes time. Far out. It'll be tough, but my New Year's resolution is to discover other social circles. There are around 500 females on my Facebook, and off the top of my head, there's not a single one that meets my very simple criteria. According to the statistics from the US Census and NCHS, and corroborated by other source studies, I'm a 0.85% man. That is, a man that is between the ages of 25 and 55, 6 foot tall, 70 to 90,000 a year, unmarried and simply not obese. You would be lucky to find one of me out of a hundred. Add to this the fact that I own property outright and no mortgage, I've got no children, and I'm jacked above average genetics. And the statistic for a man like myself easily falls below 0.5%, though I could not find reliable data on these three data sets. Those are each incredibly rare in and of themselves. The women that I'd like to surround myself with are much more common, simply 18 to 25 years old, unmarried with no children, not overweight, white, Hispanic or Asian, any height up to 5'9", and any income level make up to about 15% of the female population. So either my area has bad selection or I have some social work to do. Wow, yeah, but you know, then there's a personality which is what's also very, very important. Because if you have a bad enough personality, you can have all of this, but you still have a really bad personality. Not saying that this person does, but they're definitely forgetting about that. A kind gentle sir shares a moment with his bae. That's really, really beautiful. The top comment says, fingers in her eye? What a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, come on, are you a gentle sir or not? Not tipping my trilby to that. Neckbeard dog. Oh, okay, let's leave the video there while we're on a very wholesome one. And let's read some more stuff that's wholesome. Dad, I'm cold. No, dad. I'm cozy. <laughs> Aw. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this with you. Aw, you're too kind. If I have this little kitty with me, I'm unstoppable. Ooh, I'm a spooky ghost. I was sword killed to death in these very woods. Oh no, that's awful. Do you want to talk about it? What? I... I really do. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. Females are out here looking for Superman, and they walk past Clark Kent every day. Wow, are we on the nice guy subreddit? Like, I get the gist of this, but are they trying to say that they're Superman? Females don't even realize that I'm literally Superman. <laughs> Not only am I nice and perfect, but I'm also Superman. After several years of teaching in China, I knew I wanted a Chinese wife. I dated a few Chinese women. I asked only one Chinese woman to marry me and she said no. This was many years ago. Only today, only now do I finally accept this. Her statement of no. I typed this as a public acknowledgement of my loss, of my final acceptance of her rejection of our relationship. I loved her. I love her and I release her. Yeah, that didn't go the way I thought it was gonna go. I'm confused and a little bit sad. You know what? Ophelia is evil. Um, do you have a source on that? Ew. People don't actually actually say stuff like that, do they? Like what, you want reassurance on why that's bad? What? <laughs> My stepbrother is a neckbeard. A few years ago, both in high school, we make our own anime forum to mess around with. We get a few members. One girl starts posting on our forum, says that she's super in love with stepbrother. In the forum chat, they're both having cyber horizontal mumbo in front of everyone. He didn't realize I'm an admin and can see IPs. He was literally logging in as both the girl and him Himself and was essentially having cyber horizontal mumbo with himself. Wow, that's so funny, but also sad at the same time. Like, oh, just having a conversation with yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like this comment says, this is both sad 
and hilarious. Today my father entered my chamber and tried to give me fatherly advice on what I should do with my life. The ironic thing is, as an age Ken, I'm at least twice as old as he. It made me smile because never had I wanted to say, oh my sweet summer child, more than that moment. Oh father, how dare you give me advice when I'm so much older than you. <laughs> I am the wise one and I should be giving you advice. I'd like to imagine that they're joking, but they're probably not. Found on a YouTube short where a cheer team was doing a routine. Yeah, she'll be a single mum in a few years after letting Jamal and a couple of others run through her. What in the disgusting incel mentality is this? Imagine saying that about somebody else. Yeah, like the top comment says. My favourite part was where he made up a little story in his head and then got mad at it. That single comment sums up so much of the stuff that we read. I know I haven't said this in a while, but icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. My friend received this after posting a story with her cats and also they were fully clothed. I love the kitties, boobies and the eyes, but that's not all. You've always had this like super sexy librarian type look to you. Not the nerdy but hot kind. The hot but hot kind. The kind that's almost too hot to be a librarian or teacher because it's distracting. And then add in your womanly features. I'm messed up, so I'm trying to be tactful. Which, by the way, are incredibly complimentary to your natural beauty. And I don't think anyone could focus on their studies because they'd be studying you. Honestly, and I wholeheartedly apologize if this crosses any boundary. <laughs> oh my god, are you joking? You have a little bit of a suspicion that this might cross a boundary? Yeah, I feel like that's an understatement. But I naturally want to know what everyone looks like naked. Everyone. There are no exceptions. Oh, that's so gross. However, the more beautiful the soul, the more beautiful the face, and the more beautiful the body, the greater the intensity of that natural curiosity becomes. And you're beautiful in all three facets, so you can only imagine how curious I am in regards to what you look like sans clothing. If you should ever get the urge to be an exhibitionist and would like to show yourself off to someone you know, not only appreciate it, but give you a plethora of compliments, please feel free to share with me at any time. I'm not asking for them, unless that will actually facilitate me satiating my curiosity. I'm planting the seed and letting you know that I've always been extraordinarily curious about your womanly features. Yeah, that was awful. <laughs> I am planting my seed. Why does that sound so revolting? But yeah, pretty much all of that was revolting, so yeah. <laughs> Confirmed fact. Yeah, so guaranteed it isn't. <laughs> Females retain a percentage of DNA from every man that she's ever slept with. Logically speaking, the more guys she's fornicated with, the less that the kid will look like you. You know what I feel like is more of a confirmed fact? Don't wholeheartedly listen to stuff written by people who say females. No, but for real, there are a lot of people that say this is true, and we've definitely seen this a good few times, but there's no way that's real, is there? Sounds so unbelievably ridiculous, because it probably is. Me because my boyfriend is leaving soon. He's leaving you? About time, it's been three years too long. She's single, boys. Pretty sure that's not what they mean. Let's all start lining up for the chance to tickle her. Oh my god. Please tell me that's not real. Yuck. And also, that's not what they're talking about, is it? Surely they mean like their boyfriend is just leaving for a while. Not like they're leaving them, surely. Ew, imagine saying that. <laughs> it's so wrong on so many different levels. Water is wet, but really? And this is not just a physical thing either, but it's as though anime females are by design what females should aspire to. As a token example, let's say Officer Jenny. That sense of dutifulness. She's naturally helpful and kind to strangers. She cares about her appearance as a courtesy to others around her, but not in a vain way. Even in rejecting Brock, who is generally a huge creep in the series, she's really polite about it. I know it's silly to ask bio females to try to be an anime character. It's incredibly lofty and offensive to the entire construction of who they were at that point, but they're doing it wrong and they need to know it. It's good to aspire, and I don't know why mostly it's only nerdy libertarian men that aren't offended by this concept. Men aren't offended that jack dudes exist and occupy most of the superhero genre. Men aren't offended to aspire to something, but these are freaking females. They don't because they've got massive big ding-dong energy, completely confident that their crap bodies in SJW live, laugh, love, dog, yo. Oh my god. Dog yoga personalities is what the 
world should revolve around and all the freaking cucks just eat that crap up that's the whole freaking economy right there they don't know what's possible because they don't anime it's because of cucks that don't watch anime and don't set standards that we're even in this mess yeah wow they're awfully passionate about this yeah like this comment says i feel like the echo chambers within the internet are really gonna solidify this dude's way of thinking he needs to touch some grass and stop getting absorbed into these forums alone yeah that's such a good point like the incel forums and stuff i feel like if you spend enough time there your views on stuff are probably gonna change and the incel forums in particular because they're all so angry it creates more people that are angry and more people that hate women and just everybody so yeah i feel like this is really good advice hard to swallow pills if you can afford magic the gathering you can afford soap yeah wow that's so true i'm assuming magic the gathering is pretty similar to pokemon in the sense that they're really expensive i always get super excited about buying a pokemon booster box but then it's like oh they're 200 dollars and it's cardboard oh god what's going on here bronies and pegasus sisters united it looks as though i'm in for a fun evening what ew the top comment says sometimes i envy the illiterate i shouldn't laugh but that's so funny just remember if there aren't enough holes keep a knife nearby to make more i'm so uncomfortable what is this gotta put those openings to work right might have to remove some teeth what how is this even something that exists are you joking how are you allowed to comment stuff like that and the comments probably get worse than this why i'm single brown i play too much video games green addicted to technologies red boring af well i love how they made that one bigger orange i'm cute but i'm not wanted or blue i'm too nice to gals oh yeah that's what it is <laughs> since toys are alive in toy story then there must be a legion of traumatized anime girl figurines no don't put that thought in my head <laughs> get out of here toy story 5 anime girl edition ma'am this is one of the most famous magical girls in all of anime oh this comment is boring like anime okay beta male nobody asked yeah i don't know if they're necessarily a neckbeard but there's something so funny about unironically calling people betas and alphas we are the enlightenment yeah and on that note i feel like that's enough of this subreddit for today guys i hope you guys had an amazing time but we need to read something wholesome a hundred percent my dad built a pizza oven in our backyard he's been making making pizza since 10 a.m. Oh, that's so cute. I can't wait to have a pizza oven one day. That's literally the dream. They're so happy about it. Like, look, I made pizza and it's beautiful. We're having pizza every single night forever now. When you find a family photo that brightens your day and brings you good memories. Well, if it was a family photo like this, yeah. Look at all them cute puppies. So beautiful. Asian girls are a godsend gift for a teenage boy like me. Gracile body, luminous skin, divine neoteny, submissive personality. Oh, how I love Asian girls. Does anybody else here love Asian girls like me? Where do they get the submissive thing from? Is it literally from anime? Like, why are you assuming that all Asian girls are just submissive? And also, the fact that you feel like you need a submissive partner is bloody concerning. And also, this is in the teenagers subreddit am i the only one that's a little bit suspicious that it's not a fully grown man yeah hopefully not yeah and i believe it you better how was your day i can't complain work was pretty stressful though i'm glad to be off yeah i think this one is popping up again i'm pretty sure we read it in incel replies i'm gonna shower i'll text you when i'm out honestly diamond you seem like an amazon women but i don't think we're compatible you ate the whole damn salad which isn't ladylike makes me feel like you're greedy for food and I need a woman who knows when to stop eating. You know that I meal prep and I go to the gym daily. I just feel like you'd be overweight in the near future. I still want to hang out but that bothered me. I almost exploded. I love your vibe and energy though. You're perfect. It's just that one thing. Plus it was our first date. You were supposed to have butterflies and stuff. How could you eat that much? Yeah so if you almost exploded over your date eating all of their food 
dude. That's a giant you problem that you need to work on. Like they ordered food, you shouldn't make them feel bad for not finishing it. But yeah, hopefully they figure out what's making them think like this because that's really not good. Why I'm against racism. Racism is just a stupid way to divide ourselves and fight each other when we should be focusing on our common enemy, females. Oh my god. I imagine a world where men of all races, nationalities and religions put aside their differences and work together to remove the rights from females. Right, so yeah, that's definitely an incel forum post. Revolting. Femoid should never have had a partner before me. Femoid must not be obese. Femoid must love me unconditionally to a point where it would die for me. Femoid must refer to itself as a, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I can't read that. Femoid must never cheat. This is somebody that is making fun of people who say this, isn't it? Like it's not real, is it? Femoid must never cheat. Femoid must be extremely loyal and faithful and trustworthy. Femoid must have no male friends or contact except for me. Femoid must be obedient and honor all of my requests. Femoid must not question my authority. Femoid must know that I am its temple and I will do nothing to incinerate it. Femoid must stay with me forever until death do us part. Femoid must commit sati if I was to die in an uncertain death before my time. What is sati? Sati is the act or custom of a Hindu widow burning herself alive or being burned to death on the funeral pyre of her husband. I'm starting to question if this is a joke because now I kind of feel like it isn't and that's a really unsettling. What neckbeard things did you used to do that make you cringe to this day? So we have a lot of comments here. I stabbed myself in the leg once trying to show off my sword skills to a girl that I liked. Wearing my black leather jacket and fedora, she laughed so hard. It still makes my spine tingle. Oh my god. Nice guy BS and then I got a personality. Borderlining incel edgelord but realizing that maybe I was the problem when I left school. This is such an awesome idea. I used to think fedoras were super cool. I cringed so hard at all of the old pictures of me wearing one. I used to complain about getting friend zoned. Jesus Christ, please forgive me y'all, but I was a, a, I can't even bring myself to say it. I wrote brony fan fiction. I 100% used to call women milady or female. I used to have a crappy replica katana and I referred to women as females. Was also edgy AF. So glad that TikTok didn't exist back then. I used to intentionally hurt myself, trip or smack my hand hard to try and get the attention of girls. I was so dumb LMFAO. Yeah, sorry about that. That's not really nice. Giving deep or edgy takes that nobody asked for. Nowadays I wait until people actually ask and I actually have something real to share. Also, sincerity is better than edginess, whatever that is. I loved reading them. That was so fun. What's that subreddit with all the comments? Is it Ask Reddit? I think it's Ask Reddit, but like either way, the ones where you integrate the comment section is so fun for some reason. My ideal girlfriend, I shall start. Biological female, messy dark brown hair, pale skin, mole pouty lips, big brown or black eyes, long eyelashes, breasts on the bigger side, C plus, nice large, oh god, I can't say any of that, very smooth, oh my god, I can't say any of that either, <laughs> with a tiny bit of hair, round but small to medium sized, but thick thighs, pretty hands and feet, not too intelligent, maybe like 90 IQ, quiet and gentle personality, sometimes prone to melancholy, very introverted and usually just sits around playing video games in an oversized t-shirt, always smells nice like roses or vanilla, occasionally when we go out and she dresses up she looks stunning, doesn't want kids but likes them, likes animals, high libido but not an S word for any man but me, yeah I don't know what to say about this. And to be honest, I don't feel like I really need to talk about this. It's gross and that's about it. On the left is cute, youthful, virgin, cool clothes, accessories with a story. Versus on the right, ugly, masculine, uh, blank, dumb clothing, accessories that don't do anything. The people who quote tweeted this and find the woman on the right to be attractive are the same men who are going to settle down with a 30 plus year old busted woman. Huge white pill. I am so unbelievably confused. There's so much wrong with this that my brain doesn't know where to go first. A 30 plus year 
old busted woman? What does that even mean? And also, what does white pill mean? Yeah, and then the bottom bit's just gross. You do not have a girlfriend if you believe in putting women in their place. Sorry to break it to you, honey, but there actually are a few decent women left in the world, unlike yourself. Hey, so-and-so, tell this hoe off, lol. It really is a shame that there aren't as many sweethearts out there like me, but in hindsight, it also makes me a rare special girl. What, because your partner talks about putting women in their place? Okay. And also, I feel like we're probably gonna see that on the Not Like The Other Girl subreddit. I swear, every anime has the same school rooftop. Yeah, that's where female girls confess to their crushes. Female girls? Oh yeah, absolutely. Female girl, femoid women foids. It's like when somebody calls somebody a stupid idiot as opposed to like a smart idiot. Any wench, oh my god. <laughs> Any wench born after 1438 cannot subsistence a farm. All they know is a local tavern. Stare at they sundial. <laughs> show, thy an <laughs> show thy ankle. Primer nocta. Consume spice and utter falsehoods. Wow, that's so hilarious. Show thy ankle. Oh my god, they stared at thy sun Dial. What sort of a society have we become? Tried to talk to my wife in neckbeard lingo. I'm tired, haha. -ha. I can only imagine. You must be so tired. Exhausted. I concur. Tips fedora. Yeah, untip that fedora right now. <laughs> Don't go tipping that fedora around me, buddy. When a girl says that she watches anime, there's a 90% chance this is what she means. Men be like, you ain't a real anime fan unless you watch it. Is it wrong to pee on my bunny? girl sister's feet. <laughs> oh, that's so funny and so accurate at the same time. And also a beautiful place to read wholesome memes. I'm definitely in the mood for something wholesome. Oh no, am I blocking the view? You are my view. Why are the Sunday kids ones always so beautiful? That's so sweet. I love it so much. If it doesn't have a barcode, that means it's a free, right? Hmm, well, I don't see a barcode on you. Does that mean you're free later? Nah. Beautiful wholesome awesome moment. We have names for toxic people like Karen and Kyle, etc. This is a petition to make Steve the official name for wholesome people. True, we do need a name for wholesome people besides absolute legends. I'm thankful that I'm able to spend Thanksgiving with my anime boyfriend and my family. And you know what? I hope you had a wonderful time. But yeah, they're definitely playing into the joke, aren't they? Sorry if this isn't a joke, by the way, but I feel like it is. Dating value. To achieve a level of value in anything, you have to stand on a pillar of hard work. And VJJ just, what, floats up there? Oh, I just started here. Yeah, so that's super gross. But here's the original one, because somebody has just, like, drawn over it. To achieve a level of skill in anything, you have to stand on a pillar of hard work. Talent. Oh, I just started here. Yeah, that one's a lot less horrifying. I just read your bio. I'm sorry. I don't think we're gonna be a good match. Out of curiosity, which part made you determine that? Single mother. So I'll come second to children that aren't even mine? Which is totally understandable, by the way. But also, you have kids and you're 35, so you probably don't want any more. And even if you did, it's about a 70% chance that you can't. You're also an independent woman, so your career will come before me as well. Have we read this before, or is some Somebody else saying the same thing? Most likely not submissive. Have the same I don't need a man, I want a man mentality as all the other girls that, you know, let that social construct brainwash them. When girls typically say that they're independent, they use it as an excuse for their bad behavior and masculine traits. I want a stay at home wife that's the mother to my children who will give me stability and will stay loyal to me and is submissive. But that's impossible to find. Sorry for the rant. Modern dating is impossible for men like me, lol. Yeah, I still don't know if we've read this before <laughs> or if it's concerningly similar to something else we've read, which does happen a lot. But yeah, talking about how they want someone really submissive and also saying how social constructs are brainwashing them. Bro, writing stuff like this makes it sound like you want to brainwash them. I'm 28 years old and I've still never wiped my butt. Oh, Okay. 
<laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs> In my entire life, even after taking a wet poopy that leaves my cheeks caked in crusty blank, <laughs> I see literally no reason to clean myself when sucker by won't even look at me. Yeah, so I'm not going to take this seriously because I don't know if I can. Oh my god. I bought the Dead Space remake. I was excited to relive the game. I ran across an all-gender bathroom in the game. I immediately uninstalled and returning my copies. EA is woke. I'm done with them. Looking at all of their reviews, it seems everyone is done with them. No more NHL or NFL. Nothing. EA is woke. He's really not ready to hear about the all-gender bathrooms in his house. But yeah, that's a bit of an overreaction, isn't it? I immediately uninstalled it and I'm taking it back. Like, relax. Everything's okay. Alright, let's do this by the books of wisdom. What I want from any female for relationship... Oh god, here we go. One female addresses me as master, owner, hubby, or god. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? Two female does not start drama, harass, or nag me. Three female obeys all of my commands. Oh, can you stop just saying female? But yeah, to be fair, if you're saying female must obey my commands, you're not really gonna have to worry about it because women are gonna run in the opposite direction. Female is loyal and never cheats. Yeah, like that one's good. How do you have that one alongside female addresses me as master, owner, or god? I feel like they're in completely different universes, aren't they? Female does not do the solo diddly as all of her sexual lust must be saved for me. Female must be virgin before we meet and stay with me forever. Female must always ask for my permission for most things. Typical interaction between owner and female should go as following. Master, what's for dinner today? Female, whatever you desire, master, I live to serve you. Yeah, can we stop reading this, please? Master, go prepare the bed for horizontal mumbo. Yes, master, at once. I'm so excited. During sex act? Female, oh god, yeah, master. Yeah, I'm not reading that. Oh my god. Master, when I'm ready, come Calm down, pet. I suddenly don't feel so well. Yes, master, you are lord and king here. I only exist to serve you. Who owns you? You own my mind, my body, and my soul, master. My heart completely belongs to you. Of course it does. Good pet. Later while cuddling, about to fall asleep. Thank you for being a good master to me. I know I'm just a worthless being of darkness, but you shine your light on me anyway. I'm so lucky to have you as my owner, master. It's okay. I enjoy it. Yeah, thank you for shining your light on me. <laughs> Is it just me or does this light make you want to throw up? For real, that was one of the worst things I've read in a very long time. And I read awful stuff every day. Otaku, you say English, we say Japanese. You say cartoon, we say anime di aramasu. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do a lot of googling in this one. I'm pretty Pretty sure because I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff. You say good night, we say Oyasumi. You say cars, we say Nyan Cat. What? <laughs> you say Justin Bieber, we say Vocaloid. You say swords, we say bleach. You say reality, we say anime. <laughs> you say stupid, we say baka. You say comics, we say manga. You say countries, we say Hatalia. You say Hello, we say konnichiwa. We say shonen. You learn Japanese from classes. We learn from shows. You cry if a character dies. We have a rainbow of emotions. You only feel what your favorite person feels. We feel what everyone else is feeling. <laughs> you crush on pop stars. We crush on anime characters. You think we're crazy, but we think you're just normal. You say ocean. We say one Piece. You say family. We say fairy tale. You say ninja. We say Naruto. You say detective. We say Coco Setente Kudo 
Shinichi? Yeah, that wasn't right. <laughs> you say thief, we say Kaito Kido. You say rabbits, we say flying mint bunny. <laughs> what? You think that we're fangirls or fanboys, but we're all otakus. Yeah, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. I'll never be confused again. Anime is obviously really awesome, but you don't need to be like obsessive and terrifying about it. Ladies, one has got to go. Wine, makeup, cheating or iPhone. Yeah, I also can't stand people who cheat and act like it's cute and funny and not a big deal. But you can't just assume that it's only women and also that it's all women. Because obviously it's not. Your comics are stupid and your artwork is ugly. Women are so unfunny. You can no longer send messages to this user. What? I've been blocked? And what, this is the thanks I get for being helpful? Yeah, I feel like this one is very accurate. I wasn't being awful to you. I was supplying you with some constructive criticism. 110% not being an a-hole. I don't know where you got that idea from. Lolly sweat? Excuse me? <laughs> it's a photoshopped image of the real life sports drink in Japan called Pokari Sweat. I've had it before and it's not terrible. It's like the generic Gatorade without the fruit flavor. Right, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> you had me kind of worried for a second. A you know what is someone that's attracted to children. Lollies are children. You're attracted to lollies, so therefore you're a you know what. False. Lollies are not children. You clearly know nothing. Typical brain dead moron. Oh hey, just an FYI, outside fictional characters. I only like adult women. Do you know what that means? Yup, it means your claim and argument just crumbled. Yeah. Nah. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. Neck bearded lizard. Oh my god. Is that real? It's so cute. <laughs> I love it so much. It's not real, is it? Wait, is it real? It's little hands that look like human hands. My gentleman. Madonna giving fedora energy. The world is threatened by my power and my stamina. My intelligence and my will to survive. But they will never break me. This is all the test. Yeah, not gonna lie, that's definitely fedora energy. Madonna. Mountain Dew body wash blast and Doritos moisturizing face wash. Oh, sorry, nacho cheese moisturizing face wash. Like, I can get behind some Mountain Dew body wash blast, but I don't want to do a face scrub that's made of nacho cheese. Like, what else could there be? A Doritos cologne, maybe? <laughs> smell like Doritos, because that's an amazing smell. I'm too insane to explain, and you're too normal to understand. <laughs> With Ragnar as well? Come on. Yeah, like this comment says, wasn't Floki the crazy one, though? You are too normal to understand. Yeah, and on that note, guys, I feel like it's wholesome memes time. There wasn't too much horrifying stuff on the subreddit today, but yeah, I should probably be grateful for that. I'm just addicted to the cringe. I went through the Chick-fil-A drive through bowling, and the girl asked me if I wanted a chocolate or a vanilla milkshake, and I was like, no, I ordered a sweet tea, and she goes, no, honey, you need a milkshake. <laughs> Service unmatched. Wow, that's so wholesome. Did they take away your sweet tea or did they just add on a milkshake? I suppose that doesn't really matter. Oh, the top comment. When I worked at Starbucks, a woman came through the drive-thru and obviously was holding back tears and forcing a smile. I handed her the change and I just placed my hand on hers for a second and I asked her if she was okay. She just broke down sobbing and held onto my hand for dear life. I gave her my number if she needed anything. Thing. I never heard from her, but I hope she got through whatever made her cry that day. Oh, that's so sad, but it's nice to know that people care. Wholesome and sad at the same time. This is the kind of problems I want in my life. Too many amazing kitty cats. Me too, but I also don't want to be covered in cat hair at all times, because it's already kind of hard enough the way it is. Like you guys have seen how fluffy Chico is. That guy drops hair everywhere. It's kind of unbelievable. Shout out to the people going through stuff but still trying their hardest to be positive. Proud of you. Aw, oh, a minion meme that's actually not bad. Hell yeah, minion.
Long ago, I decided to stop studying the blade from neckbeard to normal. Oh, we're starting it with a wholesome neckbeard post. That's amazing. Congratulations on not being a neckbeard anymore. Like once again, you can be a good person and be a neckbeard, but it obviously wasn't the life for them. And I'm proud of them for making the right choice. Who is Andrew Tate? In math, my solution. In history, my king. In art, my idol. In science, my oxygen. In geography, my world. In health, my daily dose. And last but not least, in zoology, my goat. Yeah, but we're not taking that seriously, are we? That's 100% a joke, isn't it? Even trad accounts are feeling embarrassed by neckbeards. A lot of you men expect submissive wives while you watch, you know, have a beer gut, have no sense of style, don't groom yourselves properly. Sorry, but high value feminine women will find you a joke. Wow, interesting. A post like this that is actually making a little bit of sense. But all that is, is being like super delusional, isn't it? We always read about stuff like this. Somebody that wants to have like a supermodel of a partner, but they don't feel like they need to do anything or like try to improve themselves even a little bit. I am the pinnacle of manhood. I lead the pack. I am an alpha male. Hey girl, want to see my PP? Oh, F you, you S word, B arch, blanking, blanking B arch mouth S word you're fat anyway bloody S word I'm alpha you B arch TLC PL max that's so awesome yeah like I'm an alpha legend until you reject me <laughs> that's when I chuck a hissy fit like a baby female Ukrainian soldiers aren't impressive lol the only reason they have any kills is because they're hot and they lure Russian soldiers into vulnerable positions I don't support Russia since they're a semi-barbaric state. However, there's no way that Ukrainian women soldiers can kill any Russian soldiers if they weren't hot, lol. I'm not even gonna comment on that. Why would you tweet this? Yeah, really wish we didn't read that. Me, IRL. When you finally meet a man who got goals, isn't full of himself, and asks you out at 12pm and not 12am, and talks about his feelings, I like you as a friend. Yeah, please stop with the nice guy stuff. We've been reading so much of that. We need funny neckbeard stuff. I'm gonna start having nice guy nightmares. Lollicon Monopoly. Go to jail, 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 go to jail. That's amazing. Hello, idiot. Oh, I'm sorry. I just looked at your profile and I didn't realize that you were a lady and a beautiful one at that. I try my best to respect women, especially women in gaming. As a matter of fact, now I do agree with you. I'm sorry. Maybe you could even add me on PC and we can play some games together. We could play GTA or Overwatch or Minecraft. Maybe even a little COD. Add me, daddy underscore horizontal mumbo 69. Sorry about my name. My cousin made it a while back. He's not a good person like me and does not carry my values. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my God, you're a woman? <laughs> Forget everything I've just said. It's really funny because it's super accurate, but because it is super accurate is pretty sad. Help, I need Kiriko now. I love her. I just did the solo diddly to her laughing emote. Again, I can't stop. I need her to be real. I'm absolutely miserable and she could fix everything. Please let me cuddle her for a while or have lunch with her or smell her beautiful hair or just a kick in the face. Anything. Help. Yeah, I hope this isn't real. I'm absolutely miserable and she could fix everything. No, she couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's an Overwatch character, but you shouldn't expect somebody else to fix all your problems. Nah, dude. When you insult a weeb's favorite anime character and they say that the anime character can kill you without even trying, calm down, son. It's just a drawing. You wouldn't stand a chance against them. <laughs> Popular voice actress requests fans to bath before coming to concert. Oh, no. That's like the one that said that showers were sexy. Like, didn't we learn from that? And like, they're not just going to do this for no reason. So it was obviously bad enough that they felt like they needed to do this, which is not good. Hashtag white power Wednesday. Sorry about the dirty face. I had barbecue chicken wings. Moving on. Okay, so on Discord and it says in brackets minor. Hello there. Your photo profile is uh, how I would say very beautiful, gorgeous. I mean, I would really like to hang out with you. Could we, you know, shake our 
hands. Take a trip. You may be a very beautiful person in real life with a majestic appearance. I'm a geek, so I prefer geek girls. Geek nerd girls. Are you a geek? We should watch anime together and see how it goes. How about we watch Avengers? Do you like it? Also, is your hair a curly hair or a common hair? I like common hairs, but I think curly hairs are also attractive. Your personality seems to be so heat and warming, and you are seen to be gentle, such a nice person. I also like blonde girls, so if you like interlightening your hair, I would be so happy. Yeah, so do they know each other, or is this a random person? Also, do you have blonde parents? Our kids would be very beautiful if they were born blonde. I'd love to see my sons making success with other girls. I'm already thinking about our family together. Just need to think the name of our nephews. So, what do you think? Tell me you're an original woman. You know, nothing against, but these days, 10 of women, you find 9 are gay male ones. You know, original womans who are born woman. I hope you see and respond to my message. Also, have a nice day, my pretty angel. Wow, that was unsettling. <laughs> what a love story. How romantic. Women are vicious, yet fragile and cunning, yet naive, which is why they're inherently confusing to men. Because men find it hard to reconcile these paradoxical dualistic elements as part of the same creature. That something so destructive can simultaneously be so fragile. Calling women creatures. <laughs> like for real, I don't know what they just said. I just read the part where they called them a creature. Men when they're asked to date unemployed women. Oh dear, oh dear, gorgeous. Women when they're asked to date unemployed men. You donkey. Yeah, see, once again, they're speaking for every person ever. Like, obviously, that's not the case with everybody. And assuming that it is, is only going to make you angry and bitter and annoyed at women. The no showering challenge. Why we should all take part. Cleansing ourselves too often means wasting increasingly valuable drinking water. And it can actually backfire when it comes to good hygiene. Yeah, I'm sure it can if you're taking like four showers a day. I don't think not showering is the answer. They're like, oh, if you have like 45 showers a day, that's probably bad. So what you should do is never take a shower again. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a middle ground, right? I enjoy the finer things in life. Mountain Dew on the rocks, garnished with essence of Doritos. For those with a more refined palate, yeah, I kind of want to taste this, but at the same time, you know that it'd be awful because it's Doritos on the lip of the glass. Imagine if Doritos and Mountain Dew together were incredible. That'd be so funny. Stalking is a love language. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a restraining order. Somebody else's petrol cap. Fill me up, senpai. <laughs> like it is honestly kind of awesome in the sort of way where you're happy to see other people do it. And yeah, I think that's enough of this subreddit for today, guys. I hope you had a wonderful time. Let's read something wholesome. We'll fly to our next location, son. But I can't fly, dad. That's why we take the plane. The air duck D1. The tiny pair of glasses on their beak. That's so damn cute. Damari drawers. That's so awesome. A great meal is not about what's on the table. It's about what's on the chairs. Yeah, 100%. So cute. Talking to boss. Actually having a normal pleasant conversation. His daughter comes up as a topic. Accidentally call her a lolly. See him do a double take and he gets a really deadpan expression but he's still polite. Conversation trails off. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> he asked me to go home early. Says we just don't need so many people on shift. Get a text saying I need to see him first thing when I come in tomorrow. Bros, how screwed am I? I diagnose you with too much internet. You called your boss's daughter a lolly? There's no way, is there? How could that possibly be real? This comment here, they should be glad that they're only being told to see them. Most likely likely to get fired? Because trust me, if it was anybody else, I bet this dude would get the God of War 3 Zeus treatment. <laughs> yeah, how could you say that to someone? Wow, what a wonderfully awful way to start the video. Somebody's petrol cap. Fill me up. <laughs> Yucky. I feel like this one falls into that category of it is actually pretty funny, but you still probably shouldn't put it on your car. Like if you walked across this, you'd be like, oh God. <laughs> I can't believe somebody actually put this on their car, but I'm sort of glad that they did. There's a girl 
girl I know on Kick who frequently hosts loser battles where we all compete to send her the most money while we do the solo diddly. First place gets nudes from her, second gets nothing, and third place gets blocked. In the last loser battle, three losers including myself competed. I sent her $36 and I got last place. Second place sent $40 and first place sent $80. How am I supposed to compete with that? Luckily, the unblock fee was only $20, so I paid that right away. Nah. Not only am I questioning whether this actually happened, I'm questioning whether or not I actually just read something like that. Is this all a dream right now? Surely that didn't happen. You had a loser battles? <laughs> oh, I hope one day I can meet an overweight racist American gamer who lives at home with no jobs or ambitions. <laughs> yeah. My princess, where are you? But yeah, when you put it that way, they don't sound very appealing, do they? Boys want arm candy. Men want someone who isn't on birth control, is loving, is graceful, who wants to buy a farm and start homesteading and homeschooling the kids, who's obsessed with cows and is dying to make fresh breast milk ice cream. <laughs> oh my god, that took such a dive. Are you joking? Wow, that's such a funny thing we just read. <laughs> Somebody who's obsessed with cows? What? <laughs> All I want is some breast milk ice cream. That would be amazing. <laughs> An old photo of Elon Musk with a katana? I try not to pick fights, but I do finish them. <laughs> oh, cringe. I want a hentai girl for me to make me happy. I want her so I can stop using my hand every single day while watching anime. I'd pull her from my screen. Just like in my dreams, I want to feel her touch. Mainly on my crotch. I want my own hentai girl and she would sing la 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 la. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is a song. Oh my God. I've never been so relieved in my entire life. Thank you so much for that being a song and not something that they just actually said. Sisters are freaking worthless. Mine won't do anything to help relieve me of my sexual poverty. Won't hook me up with her friends. Won't bring me to parties. Won't give me money so I can get facial surgery. She has a great job and life and deserves none of it. Freaking you know what doesn't even look hot and she still gets to be popular and successful because of you know what. She's a typical hedonistic western S word. Has had like four boyfriends. Degenerate AF. If I was at all into oh my god can I even read this? If I was at all into incest I might just take what I need from her directly. She doesn't know how fortunate she is on that score. The only difference between us is that I was born with a ding dong. Our faces even look familiar but for an FHO life is just pure easy mode. Male attention and privilege just rolls in. She's probably been with an obscene number of normie males but won't lift a finger to help her own brother. Sisters are blanks. That's disgusting. God, tell me that's not real. Ugh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say now. Yuck. Nothing about this isn't yuck. Sorry incels, not all content is made for you. She-Hulk, Daredevil Hulk and She-Hulk Attorney at Law. Okay, so let's break this down. First, I've been a Marvel fan for decades until Disney buried the content and plots in woke talking points. Second, I'm a Sigma, not an incel, never have been. It's not the incels complaining, it's the Marvel fans. Hashtag goodbye Marvel and She-Hulk. Yeah, like you don't have to like She-Hulk, but it's the whole self-proclaimed Sigma male stuff. Is that bad? Like, can you be a self-proclaimed Sigma male or alpha male and not be... I don't know what the right word is, but is that okay to do? That's one of the questions of the universe that I feel like we'll never know. To be honest, I don't really think you can. Lolly fans, tell me the truth. I'm ready to hear it. It doesn't matter if she's 18 or 3,000 years old. If you're attracted to 
the physical appearance of a child, then you're a you know what, lolly fans. Yeah. Like, nah, bro. It's totally fine. Because, yeah, they're 3,000 years old. Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow, there's been a piece of fluff in my hair this entire video. <laughs> and I didn't even realize. I usually have, like, a bigger screen that I can see myself on. But my cable to it broke, so I only have the tiny little camera screen. And I pretty much can't see myself. I've made a decision. At this point, we all know the gist. Women don't want me. I'm ugly and short, etc. Well, today we won't be talking about that, but something different, something exciting, something weird that sounds like the ramblings of a true madman. So, women don't want me. Cool, but I still desire some form of intimacy and to be able to hold someone. But what do I do? The first idea that comes to a fella's mind is an escort. But sadly, I'm mortified of talking to women. So what other solution did I have? Was I doomed to loneliness? Well, listen, everybody, because I've come to a decision. I decided that I'll save up as much money as I can and I'll buy myself a high-quality doll. Now, you may go, but Uncle OP, why can't you just buy a you-know-what light? Well, kiddo, that is a good point, but hugging one of them at night would feel awkward, wouldn't it? While I may sound like a lunatic who escaped the grasp of Batman, I'm totally sane. Think about it. I get a woman that can actually stand me and, like, won't burn me for my ugliness, like they did to the witches in the 1600s. She'll kind of be there for me. I can throw in some imagination to make her personality and so on. It's legit my final chance at some form of love. So wish me luck, fellas. Oh, buddy. No, it's not. There isn't really an issue here, except for the part where they say that it's a woman and also that it's going to be a form of love. Dude, a doll is not a woman and it's not going to love you like a person is going to love you. But like, obviously, besides that, yeah, do whatever you want. I beat colon cancer today. Happiest day of my life. Well, I mean, you didn't really beat anything. If anything, your own body was beating you. Sort of similar to punching yourself in the head and then cutting your arm off to stop it. Not really a win. Wow. How dare you. <laughs> I kind of wish I didn't read that because I don't want to give attention to stuff like this because that's just revolting. But yeah, congratulations for beating cancer. That's amazing. So bloody happy for you. And yeah, obviously, don't listen to people who comment stuff like this. I told my friend why guys don't want to date her. To start with, I, 19 male, have a really good 20 female friend. My friend has a well-known history of sleeping around at our small college. Recently, she decided to stop that part of her life and start seeking a relationship. Sadly, though, she hasn't been able to find anyone, despite her being really sweet. A couple of days ago, though, she came up and asked me why guys don't want to commit to her. I asked her if she wanted to hear the truth, which she replied yes. I proceeded to tell her that most men don't want to be with someone who has 25 past partners. She got visibly upset but didn't say anything. A day ago, she blocked me on Snap and one of our friends told me that what I said really hurt her. I shouldn't have been truthful with her. Yeah, nah, you definitely didn't need to say that. Like, yeah, some people will probably care. Most people won't. It probably doesn't even have anything to do with that, though. No, but seriously, why would you say that? Hello, Eva. I noticed you have a profile picture of a very beautiful but also intelligent-looking female. And I'm under the presumption that this goddess is you. It's quite astonishing to see a female here in the official Discord. I'm quite popular around here in this server, so if you require any guidance, please throw me a mention. I will assist you at any hour, day or night. <laughs> and before you're mistaken, I do not seek your hand in a romantic way. Although, I'm not opposed in the event you are interested in me, as many women often are. What, because you're popular in a Discord server? <laughs> what do you mean? I am a man of standard. I do not bow to just any female that comes my way. Unlike my peers, so rest assured, I will not be in the way of your gaming and socializing experience. Consider me a player too, a companion, a partner. And perhaps we can enjoy some video games together sometime. I see you play Pummel Party and you're good at mini games. I am a mini game aficionado, so I'd be happy to assist you in games. Platonically, of course, unless you, like many others, change your mind on that. I look forward to 
into our future together. As friends, of course. Yeah, that was incredible. I'm very popular in this Discord server. Will you take my hand in marriage, m'lady? Aw, somebody's cat with a fedora on. Meow. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we need to end the video there because that is so beautiful and it's not gonna get more beautiful than this. It's 100% wholesome memes time and I've never been so excited. Reminder, as cold weather sets in, animals are attracted to the warmth of your vehicle. Always check your car before driving. <laughs> yeah, will do. Thank you for that. Just in case there's a cow on your bonnet. I can't even tell you how many times that's happened. Probably a weekly occurrence. A friendly reminder to check that you're not holding tension in your body. Let your shoulders drop. Unclench your hands and jaw. Take a deep breath. Much better. Aw, thank you. I was definitely clenching my shoulders, but now I'm not. <laughs> and I feel very relaxed. My jaw is all relaxed and my hands and feet are relaxed. Thank you. Bug class reunion. I became a moth. Dang. I became a butterfly. Dang. What about you, worm? I accepted myself for who I am. Dang. <laughs> Aw, beautiful. Yeah, I'm a worm, but I'm proud of who I am. Even married folks can give off neckbeard vibes. Men's testosterone levels drop when they secure stable, committed partners. And again, when they have kids. When you see a jacked guy in his mid-30s, you're looking at someone whose hormones are responding to a failure scenario. A failure to secure a stable partner and reproduce. What? <laughs> and the top comment says, holy crap, I took a look at their Twitter. They're trying to create some kind of sovereign state for their own weird cult that focuses on a eugenics breeding program. They also spend a ton of time crap talking fitness and people who go to the gym for some reason, lol. Yeah, that's so confusing. Just because that's not the way you live your life doesn't mean that because a guy is in good shape in their 30s that their body is responding to a failure scenario. That's straight up so not true. I'm gay. You better not hit on me. I'm not into men. Can you please stop hitting on me? I'm not into men. Yeah, but you just haven't had good you know what yet. Let me show you mine. Acting like they're the one person that's going to convert them or something. Like, is that genuinely what they think? Because that's not how that works, dude. Can you please stop hitting on me? I'm not into men. Like, oh, nah, you will be after me. Nah. <laughs> I'm anti-LGBT. I dare someone to debate me in Discord. Who wants to be defeated in an LGBT debate on Discord voice chat? No one cares. I care. I'm a trad Catholic king and a pro-LGBT debunker. I would defeat the LGBT in a Discord voice chat debate. Who wants to be defeated in an LGBT debate? Who wants to be defeated in an LGBT debate on Discord voice chat? And it just keeps going. Nobody gets defeated in a debate on Discord when it's just some random person's opinion. Reddit atheists when they hear their 93-year-old terminally ill grandma say, I'm just glad to be with my husband again. Oh, I don't want to laugh, but that's really accurate. And also really sad at the same time. Oh well, actually, you're not going to be with them again. The robotic dancers of the atomic heart without having a face transmit more femininity and sensuality than any female character on PlayStation. Bravo for the studio's bravery in creating them. You know that they're literally only saying that because they're not wearing anything except a shirt and the shirt is open and they have giant badonkadonks. That's the only reason they like it. I denounced the West a thousand times for a smidge of commie robo you know what. I'd lose everything to get me some metal booty. There are more comments on this but I'm not reading them because they're so gross. But yeah the whole gist of it is they want to get with these robots. I think my husband is a neckbeard and they posted a photo of a sword rack with a katana on the top and it says this thing is razor sharp and his Indiana Jones style fedora. The top comment says he's become a hybrid, a daywalker, a husband but see, this is a beautiful example. I'm sure this person is a wonderful person. But yeah, they have a little bit of neck beard inside. Oh, they made Ashley and Ada ugly. Bruh. Nine turns into a seven. They're still attractive. How about we stop lowering standards? How about that? Or maybe just don't play video games for the sole reason of having a sexy character. It's so cringe. We see this all the time. People complaining about their ugly video game characters and how they're like not sexy enough for their liking. Maybe think about why you want them to be sexy so 
bad in the first place? Hey guys, women, they're cringe. Being a woman is so easy. Women are useless in my opinion. Wow, okay. I'm assuming they're somebody's comments on Reddit. Yeah, okay, that was sad. I will never purchase media containing any of the following. Characters designed with San Francisco sensibilities. Race swaps of any kind. Writing contains overtly anti-white male themes. Any female character has their breasts reduced to any extent. One-way diversity. Any form of censorship or desexualization to dialogue or costumes. Yeah, see, that's what we were just talking about. Dialogue is localized to insert progressive politics and terminology. Marketing or community interaction involves lecturing, insulting, gaslighting, or guilting your potential customers. Female characters are intentionally made to look ugly. They're not made intentionally to be ugly. They don't make them ugly, they make them realistic. These people want them to be super unrealistic all the time, and everybody is just perfect looking. Grooming and LGBT magnification hypocritically desexualizes female characters while keeping male ones sexualized. Tries to justify female desexualization with the ridiculous realism argument in settings with magic and supernatural powers, while not altering the males to match and ignoring that realistically women tend to be shorter, 5 foot 4 on average, and excluding third world countries an average bra size is D. Emasculates male characters while female characters are portrayed as butch, flawless and unbeatable. Unironically endorsed by anti-intellectual grifters who argue in bad faith such as those above. Gender erasure. Who does this benefit? Even most trans people identify as one gender. What's the point? And that's simply it. There's no discussion. You're not entitled to my money. You will not insult, lecture, gaslight, guilt or degrade me into giving you money for products that don't appeal to me and are overtly made to attack and tear me down? There's no debate. You want my money? Knock all of this off. I don't owe you an explanation. I'm simply telling you that I will not buy these products for myself, my friends, or my children. And you can't do a damn thing to force me to. Nobody's gonna show up at your door and be like, you have to buy this right now. Like, yeah, don't buy them. It's not that big of a deal. The way that they wrote this makes it seem like it's the biggest deal ever. And it's really not. In Stop inventing new genders. Also incels. Anyway, I'm a sigma male, but also a bit of a lambda sometimes. You don't get it. You're theta kappa male, so that's why you can't get laid. Yeah, they are no one to talk. They literally make their own incel language, and it's so confusing. Every single time I go on the incel tier subreddit, there's a new word, like height mogged and height maxed and Stacy and Chad. Yo, let's do the horizontal mumbo. Nah, I want to in high school, but now you're fat and got three kids. And that was posted in the funny meme subreddit. Yeah, funny enough, that's not a very funny meme. Sounds like somebody is super bitter. Haha, ha, you gained weight and have children. Oh, that's a hilarious meme. Kevin25, searching for my future girlfriend. Please be size zero, zero. Okay, so they're joking, right? Like when Lisa's in that shop and those people are talking about somebody being back to their birth weight. <laughs> I heard she's back to her birth weight. Must be nice. Virgin, but also sexually adventurous. With a high school education, not stuck up and will have hamburgers with the boys. After you cook them for us, of course. No previous partners is a big plus. Yeah, okay, so either this is a joke or the biggest red flag of all time. Being a furry is not cringe. It's but a pure expression of Indo-European Germanic culture. The Germanic tribes practice furryism as a part of ancient esoteric tradition, where they believe believe that animals' fur gave them mystical powers when worn? Times have changed now, and unfortunately, people view furries as degenerate scum, rather than wise shamans with greater knowledge. If you are anti-furry, you are anti-white? Wait, so it's everybody else's fault that furries aren't seen as shamans with greater knowledge? And like how you can be a neckbeard and also a good person, the same thing applies to furries. I'm sure you can be a furry and be an amazing person, but yeah, none of this makes any sense. Lol? 
I hate crusty ass Western men who call Asian men gay for being more likely to be impeccably groomed and dressed with a solid skincare routine. Like, okay, Robert, you completely have the right to have a neck beard and smell like crap and wear your socks and sandals and cargo shorts combo. But when Yun Sung is over here looking 25 at age 47 and you just turned 33 on your 18th birthday, you might want to reconsider wearing a face mask or two occasionally. Yeah, stuff like that has always been so confusing. Like, first of all, using gay in a sense where it's an insult is so gross. But then on top of that, everything they say doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, oh, it's gay to be well-groomed and to dress well and to have a skincare routine. And I know I talk about it all the time, but like that post that we read ages ago on the I'm Very Badass subreddit, where somebody wouldn't wipe after they went to the toilet because they thought it was gay to touch their own butt. Like, what do you mean? You're not actually a female, are you? What makes you think I'm not a female? Because females aren't that good at composing music as their male counterparts. Wow, that's a new one. Females can't compose music. We've read so much stuff today that doesn't make any sense. Take a shower? Oh, do you mean get peed on by my own house? No thanks. Yeah, ew, what have we been doing all this time? Getting peed on by our houses? This is not okay. Let's read something very wholesome. A deer wandered into my front yard. It stopped to watch my neighbor's little dog. The cat stopped to watch the deer and I stopped to watch my cat and we stopped and also watched your cat. Shared interests, same morals and values, identical future plans, walking speed compatibility. No. My lungs are on fire. That's so cute. I'm trying so hard. Like when Ralph is walking with Bart. Slow down. Only pack the essentials. Okay, done. They're definitely essential. Mine would just be all the cats. I'd quite seriously rather be degraded by a stranger online than be subjected to reading this. A tip of the hat to you, my lady. Are you too a connoisseur of the intellectual animated series Richard and Mortimer? <laughs> that could be the best message I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, my dear, do you watch Richard and Mortimer? I see that you're a cultured individual. I hope the person up the top is joking because I would love to have a conversation with this person. They sound awesome and fun. So on these pictures here, I wish I was the guy standing behind you. Lol, okay, why? Because I bet he can smell your hair. By the way, I went to high school with you if you don't remember. Dude, what the hell? This doesn't concern you. This is between me and so-and-so. What kind of shampoo do you like? <laughs> I bet I can smell your hair. This looks really old, so hopefully everything's okay. And they didn't randomly go and sniff their hair or something. Japanese girls in anime. Japanese girls in real life. What, you're surprised that people don't look like anime characters? There are people that actually think that though, which is so concerning. I think we've read stuff like that before, where somebody goes to Japan thinking that they're gonna find their anime waifu princess, and they get to Japan. Japan and they're like, oh, wait a second, you mean that, you know, everybody here is just a human being like me? And everybody just looks like a normal person? Funny thing, the cold air? Most guys shrink up, but not me, lol. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's good to know. Haha, <laughs> I like the sarcasm. I'm not a perv, just FYI, just a very open person. Lasai, the trials and tribulations of a deep thinker. <laughs> Did we just read that? Lasai sigh. <laughs> Twin sisters with two completely different aesthetics. Yeah, one deserves respect and the other can be thrown in the trash. Like, wow, two random people on the internet? I better give my unwanted opinion on their appearance that they're definitely not gonna even think about. <laughs> Supermodels. A random girl that works as a cashier. Yeah, calling you as sir every time you bought something is so satisfying. Master is on a whole nother level. You do realize that they're being paid to be polite to you, right? <laughs> wow, this comment. Maybe for once someone will call me sir without adding, you're making a scene. <laughs> I'm tired of people acting like lolly is the worst thing ever. No actual children are involved in any of it. It just serves as a harmless outlet for those of us who are attracted to nubile young females but want to avoid real life ones. Love is love. Get out of here 
here with that dude. That's revolting. Yeah, like this comment says, dry heaving. World War 3 begins. Feminists. Yeah, so funny. Ha ha ha. Like, oh yeah, I'm a man and I fight wars. Yeah, okay, dude. Axe body spray is a good alternative to taking showers. Yeah, so I don't know if this is the same one that we read a while ago. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a different one. What difference does it make? You still smell good either way. No, you don't. <laughs> but dousing some extra Axe body spray on is much faster and it lasts just as long if you use enough. I know you need shampoo, but you can use dry shampoo and be done with it. Bro, shampoo isn't what you should be worried about if you're not taking showers. I strongly prefer Axe body spray to taking a shower and I've gone as long as 62 days without taking one and nobody said anything. Yeah, but just because nobody said anything doesn't mean that they didn't notice. As long as I used enough Axe before going out, I think we waste too much time taking showers. You can have a five minute shower. It doesn't take a long time. They have to be trolling. I'm mainly concerned about the part where they're worried about their shampoo. Like if you didn't shower for 62 days, your hair's the last thing you should be worried about. Yeah, the classic. What a date with me's like. Just staring at them like this very intensely the entire time. Yeah, yay. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely dinner. YouTube e-girls have photoshopped themselves so much to look East Asian and profit off Asian fetishization, LMAO. You're not even Asian though. You're Vietnamese, lol. Wow, that's crazy. I had no idea I wasn't Asian. This comment here, congrats a random Twitter user. You've added another reason why Twitter is one hellhole that I'll never touch. Yeah, I follow like Simpsons pages on Twitter and people that only post stuff that's funny. Cause yeah, there's definitely a lot of it that's really toxic or just like you're angry or a lot of negativity or complaining for no reason or like arguments for no reason. That's the kind of diversity that I can get behind. What a luringly cute design. I want her to give me a private exotic belly dance and lick her sweaty skin before we succumb to our lust under the heat of the desert sun. Wow, I wish I didn't read that. It's one thing to think this, but it's a completely other thing to actually tweet it. Like this really didn't need to happen. I went to a comic fair today and this was my favorite cosplay, a Discord mod. Wow, that's so good. They actually did a really good job. The drawn on facial hair is so good. Milady. Oh my God, he has nothing interesting to talk about when they have like the secrets to the universe. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, this is that post that we read before. Lesai, the trials and tribulations of a deep thinker. That's 100% what this is. It's hard being such a deep thinking genius when everybody else just thinks about Billie Eilish and Netflix. Well, like that's what they're assuming anyway, which is such a bad idea. Why would you do that? Like how nice guys assume that women don't like nice people and they only date people that are a-holes. It usually really doesn't help. I'm not a granny con. What's a granny con? Someone who likes girls over 18. That is grannies. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but they're joking, aren't they? Someone who likes girls over 18. That is grannies. Yeah, you're joking. I hope so. The gurgling is the result of me being sexually frustrated. I'm surrounded by females. So there are nice guy neckbeard llamas gurgling as well. Like I know it's a llama, but that's so off-putting. <laughs> oh my God, woman. <laughs> and starts gurgling. I don't want to do the horizontal mumbo with you. I just want you to be pregnant with my you know what. Why is that on your shirt? Why does it have an Adidas logo on it? Is there some kind of context to this or do I need to be horrified? But to be fair, nothing could really explain having that on your shirt. Nothing justifies this. Nice guy. Shows any common decency. Girl. Nice guy. This is the part where you you know what my ding dong. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is very accurate. Like, what do you mean? I did one nice thing for you. Barely the bare minimum. And you're not a media all over me. This doesn't make any sense. Sounds like a good guy. Hopefully he'll find someone who appreciates him. Yeah, good guys rarely do. 224 down votes. Christ on a bicycle. Being a good guy is never gonna be the actual problem. It probably
probably has a lot more to do with being bitter and angry. But yeah, for real, all the best. We really need less people to be thinking like this. So yeah, hopefully they figure it out. Oh my god, you're so pretty and kawaii. Do you like anime? I am lookalike Kirito from SAO. Thank you. I do. Never seen that one though, lol. Really? You should watch it. It's an epic show. Kirito, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, by the way, is so cool. He's a lifelong gamer like me, lol. But also a badass and his girlfriend is hot and it's really romantic. So girls will like it too. We could watch it on Skype together. Yeah, I'm good. It doesn't really seem like my thing. No, you need to watch it. You'll love it and become an otaku. A connoisseur of all things Japanese. Yeah, maybe eventually. This is me bringing you into the otaku laifu as my waifu. Okay, haha. Too bad I have a boyfriend. Okay, haha. Frick you then, you vapid S word. I was going to introduce you to a whole new world of culture that your boyfriend has neglected to share with you. You could have been the Asuna to my Kirito, but no, you're not like her. You're a, uh, you know what? The romantic haikus that I would have written in Japanese would have made you weak at the knees. Does he make you feel like that? Yeah, see, like angry at the boyfriend and they don't even know who it is. That's not a good sign. Oh, golly, I hope you find your Asuna soon. That's so, so sad. Frick you, I could have changed your life. I could have made you into the cute little sister girlfriend that you were always meant to be. But no, you're too busy getting, oh my God, by your boyfriend who probably only likes football, tennis, and fake anime like Pokemon. Frick you, I hate girls like you. S words. You don't even know them. And you're saying stuff like this. That's awful. Revolting, to be honest. Saying that to somebody and assuming that of somebody that you don't even know. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that's enough for today, guys. Let's read something a lot more wholesome, which would be anything that isn't this. Watch out for frogs with bright colors. They're toxic. Except Greg. I lost, but it was fun. Good game, guys. Wow, Greg, you're a legend. I know I lost, but we still had a wonderful time. I'm not like the other bright colored frogs. To Angus, who's a good boy? I am. We love you, Angus. Somebody playing with their cat. Their cat not feeling well. Their cat dying. And the Grim Reaper playing with them in Kitty Heaven. Wow, that's so sad and beautiful and emotional all at the same time. Yeah, there are so many comments here that are like, wow, thanks, I'm crying now. Oh, beautiful and sad at the same time. I don't know how to feel about this. An anime actress with nearly a million Twitter followers tweeted out a guide telling her fans to bathe before coming to her concert. Don't forget, showers are sexy. Boys want arm candy. Men want someone who isn't on birth control, is loving, graceful, who wants to buy a farm, start homesteading, homeschool the kids, who's obsessed with cows and is dying to make fresh breast milk ice cream. <laughs> Took that a little bit far. You could have stopped halfway into this. Why would they be obsessed? with cows. I know that cows are cool and interesting, but are they going to be obsessed with them? And oh yeah, let's whip up some breast milk ice cream. <laughs> I'm mainly stuck on the part about being obsessed with cows. Like, why? <laughs> what a strange thing to say. Why I'm single? Red, because I look like a truck. Okay, so are all of these going to be super weird? Like, what do you mean you look like a truck? You're sort of rectangular shaped and you're made of metal and you've got a lot of wheels. Green, because I'm poor. Blue, because I treat girls nice. Yeah, we're gonna need a new pie chart. This one's terribly inaccurate. I am a wolf, I am an alpha, I'm a rare breed. I live alone in the dark and I persist against all odds. I am above others, humanoid men are afraid of me. Their genes subconsciously tell them that they're no match for me. Humanoid females avoid me, I intimidate them. But one day they'll realize their mistake in not choosing me. They will realize that they could have created a pack with a wolf, but all they did was play around with puppies instead. But then they'll be old and it'll be too late. Society shuns me. I'm a threat to them because I'm a rebel. I only howl at them in response and laugh. I embrace the solitude and the solitude embraces me. I don't need others because all I need is myself. And then there's a photo at the bottom, but I don't know if that's the photo that they posted. Surely not. Like, I want to say that they're joking and they don't actually think of themselves as an alpha wolf. 
forth. But at the same time, that would not be surprising. She wants a $6,000 ring and a $25,000 wedding and a $50,000 car and a $500,000 house and all she has to offer in return is a pre-owned you-know-what. I'm 99% sure that we've read this one before, but if you're saying that somebody else is pre-owned and just referring to a person like that, that's a really bad. Am I the a-hole for avoiding women and not interacting with them at work? I hate women, especially the ones that go around blanking and blanking every guy that they see. Women suck. They ghost you. They judge you by your height and they act like you're some kind of weirdo if you try to dance with them at a club. I can't stand them. The thing is that women actually have it very good in the USA. They're not oppressed at all despite the countless posts that I see. They just make posts all day saying that men are trash but the one time I make a post complaining about women I get punished. It's a fair system, right? I'm sick of looking at them. I wish I didn't have to work with them. Women are pretty much the reason why my life is ruined and why it isn't getting any better. I'm sure it's not, dude. They always rejected me from an early age and I was never able to heal from that. Yeah, but that's not their fault. Everybody gets rejected. I feel like I'm emotionally screwed up and I continue to see women overlooking me and making fun of me. I can't stand them. Yeah, but that's not the women's fault. <laughs> it's your responsibility to look after yourself and make sure that you're happy. I'm sorry you feel like this, but at the same time, blaming women isn't going to make it any better. If you're attracted to her, you're a latent homosexual. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Okay, so probably another tweet we shouldn't read. To achieve the level of leanness and vascularity, she's on some type of steroid. Ah, yes, the expert. <laughs> she's injecting male hormones into her body to look like this, giving her that manly muscle appearance. You are all unironically gay. Are you intimidated or something because it's a woman and they're muscular? We see that sort of stuff a lot on the neckbeard subreddit. So the other day I'm at a GameStop and I see this cutie 3.14 girl. Oh, cutie pie. I walk up to her and I notice that she's looking at the 3DS games. I simply ask, do you have a 3DS, huh? Which Pokemon games do you have? And she gives me this disgusted look. I knew crap was gonna get bad with her right away. She got all defensive and was like, uh, no, I'm here for my little brother. And heads up to the cashier. So she's not even a gamer, but she's at GameStop. I'm so sick of girls doing this to me. <laughs> what are you talking about? They haven't done anything. So I followed her and I said, okay, you might think that treating people like crap before you even get to know them is cool, but that's not how the real freaking world works. When somebody's trying to be nice to you, you need to be nice back. Plus, you're not even a gamer. And the cashier, some skinny looking 16 year old, starts getting uppity and tells me to calm down or I'm gonna have to leave. I'm going into a pure rage at this point and I say, this is BS. I wasn't doing anything wrong. In fact, she's the one who should leave for being a complete B arch to your customers. She's not even a gamer. Long story short, I tried to reason with him, but I got banned from going to GameStop. This is messed up. I say we need to start protesting GameStop for letting these C words get away with this. She wasn't even a gamer. That guy should have had my back. Anybody else done with this crap? So because they're not a gamer, they're not even allowed in GameStop. That's not how that works. And because they literally said, uh, no, I'm here for my little brother. And they head up to the cashier. Just because they said that you think they're a bad person. Are you joking? I grew up at the tail end of an era where if there was one thing you knew about little girls, they dreamed about falling in love and getting married and having children. And I dreamed about finding one who would feel that way about me. But I inherited a world where women are married to their college GPA, in love with being a girl boss and content to walk their little dogs around like children, scowling at any man they see. I almost forgot what white women used to act like from growing up, except when I see Hispanic wives walking around the hardware store with their men, or pushing around a stroller surrounded by four or five young children. So you think every single white woman ever isn't interested in having a family? Yeah, I don't know, there are a lot of people out there. I feel like they're not all the same. I feel like this probably isn't what the issue is. You're pretty, thanks. And they get angry. <laughs> That's so accurate. Like, what do you mean you didn't say that you've already fallen in love with me and we're getting married? How dare you? I can't believe you responded in a reasonable way. What women think men want, what men really want, what women are really like. Today I learnt men want imaginary two-dimensional women made entirely out of ink with no noses. Men, what do you prefer? 2D anime schoolgirls, 
29%, actual living women, 27%, and I'm here to judge you all, 24%. Yeah, sorry for asking. Men can't actually prefer 2D anime schoolgirls, right? 49%, surely not. My local thrift store had a starter pack on display. Wow, that's so awesome. A fedora and a katana, two things that every gentleman needs. I'm an official Fortnite athlete and I'm looking for a girlfriend. While intelligence comes quite easily to me, in fact, romantic partnership appears to elude me. That's why I ventured into the depths of a place such as this. Now, with introductions out of the way, I have certain requisites to determine if you're worthy of my affections. At least 155 plus IQ, linguistically gifted. I dislike common English. Emotionally mature. I've engaged with far too many unsuitable specimens. Willingness to fly to my country and state to live with me. If you believe that you're worthy of my affections and fulfill the requirements, feel free to make advances at me in DMs. <laughs> There's no way this is real. Here are my requirements. You must be smart and emotionally mature because I've engaged with far too many unsuitable specimens. So calling women specimens, surely that's just as bad as females. A part of a balanced neck beard breakfast, Doritos cereal. I wish this was real so bad. I'd 100% eat this in a neck beard video. Like I suppose I could just make some Doritos cereal out of Doritos, but it wouldn't be the same. And yeah, now that we're reading one that isn't serious, I feel like that's a good place to end the video, guys. No wonder their pit stops have been the fastest this season. Oh, that's, um, what's their name? Guido or something from Cars? I think it is. That's amazing. They have a pit stop character tattooed on them. That's hilarious. I'm so heartbroken. I just caught my wife in bed with my best friend, but <laughs> it's okay because it's a beautiful puppy dog. Hell yes, I'm getting in bed. This was in my dentist's waiting room. How does Gollum look even creepier with nice teeth? That's so weird to see. Gollum already had a beautiful smile, but now it's even more beautiful. I'm a gamer, good at making extremely hot girls, you know what? <laughs> wow, kind of a funny shirt, but at the same time, actually, I don't know how I feel about this. On one hand, like, you know, obviously that's such a bad idea to wear this, but on the other hand, it's kind of a pretty chad move to wear this, because they're like, yeah, I know this shirt is just terrible, but I love it and I'm gonna wear it anyway. I've got very mixed feelings about this. An ad for replica? I don't need replica. Are you sure? But you can roleplay and get not suitable for work pictures from her. Wow, they use this for the actual ad? That's hilarious. But yeah, that does seem really neck beardy. Like, do you want AI nudes? Got you covered. Also, by the way, guys, I'm not showing it in the video, obviously, but just know that throughout this entire video, I'm gonna be eating Toblerones. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I wanted you guys to know that. 30 is still young, you're gonna be okay. I turned 31 recently, and I still feel like I have tons of time. Then again, I don't give a crap about money or status, and I'm perfectly content with my welfare checks and my parents' house. Relationships always ended badly for me, so I don't care about getting married or kids either. Inheritance is something to look forward to at least. Wow, that's a bit dark, don't you think? I'm comfy AF, VR adult videos, high-end gaming PC, PlayStation 5, OLED TV, Herman Miller chair, anime and hentai, decently well-off parents, neat bucks. All a comfy, neat like me really needs in life. Like, I know everybody's different, but personally, if I had no drive or ambition to do anything ever, and I was just literally sitting around doing absolutely nothing, helping absolutely no one, mooching off my parents, waiting for them to die so I can have their money, I wouldn't feel very good about myself. You can't just do nothing ever. And also, how are the parents even putting up with this? <laughs> and also, how messed up is it to say that your inheritance is something to look forward to and get excited about? Like, oh yeah, can't wait until my parents die. <laughs> Sorry, this really rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, okay, let's move on. Young neckbeard in training. Mum found the pee drawer. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Not amazing that a kid peed in a drawer and basically filled it up with pee, but it is kind of amazing that they even thought about this. I really hope there isn't like a sad reason they did this, because if they just peed in the drawer for the sake of 
believe it. <laughs> That's so funny. Looks like a good place to take a whiz. If you say anything bad about anime, I can't guarantee your safety. <laughs> Hell yeah, buddy. We both have beautiful trilbies. Like, obviously, they're joking, and that is really funny. Because look how little that knife is. <laughs> Stick him up, I've got a Lego knife. To be fair, it would still hurt, but it's not a katana. You flirt and kiss for what? Horizontal mumbo? Love? Pathetic. To level my charisma stat. Ah, a gamer. You may pass. Yeah, I don't think this one is neckbeardy. It just makes me want to make a Tumblr video. I always forget about it. I'm always thinking, oh, I should really make a video on the Tumblr subreddit. Also, how funny is that? Not actually getting it from Tumblr, but reading about Tumblr on Reddit. But yeah, I really need to do that. The girl trying to scare me with her new Wednesday personality. My personality. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like Peaky Blinders is like the Joker movie. Like they're both really good, but people are sort of ruining it. It's kind of like when you enjoy a song and then it goes like super viral on social media. And then it's like, oh, I can't listen to this anymore. <laughs> because when I listen to it, I'm only going to think about TikTok. Oh, Doctor Strange woke checklist. I unfortunately watched Doctor Strange yesterday. Within the first of five seconds, immediate dread. They started speaking Spanish. I thought to myself, oh no, did I accidentally buy a Spanish dub showing? A few seconds later, I hear English and I breathe a sigh of relief. I did not buy a Spanish dub showing. It was just a woke pandering. Wait a second, what? <laughs> so because somebody in it spoke Spanish, that somehow political and woke pandering. <laughs> you do realize how ridiculous that sounds, right? <laughs> Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building illuminated with rainbow lights to celebrate same-sex partnerships. Oh, Japan is finished. It's becoming your average American vassal state. Age of consent increased, immigration increased, gay unions, feminism and gender talks increasing. It's only a matter of a few years before Japan becomes a wasteland like Sweden. Yeah, I wonder how much of this has to do with anime. I'm not the only person thinking that, am I? The Madagascar movies are the pinnacle of animated comedy. Some random western cartoon for small children. The pinnacle of animated comedy. Looks like someone hasn't watched Gin Jinta Gintama. How are you getting 5,000 views and 4 likes, my guy? Because only westerners see this tweet. My fellow Japanese would agree with me. Are you not a westerner yourself? Technically, yes, but I identify more with Japanese culture. Yeah, I almost don't know if they're joking or not. I'm hoping they're joking, but judging by the comments on this, I don't think so. Oh, if only females in real life were as pure and feminine as females in anime. They don't call it a perfect world for nothing. Bro, that literally looks like a six-year-old. What are you doing? <laughs> like, come on. Like, if you said this and it was a photo of a woman from anime that you thought was perfect, but was, you know, a little bit more reasonable, then yeah, whatever. But that's literally a six-year-old. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. I can't even tell you how sexy I find a guy who complains about video games on the internet all day. I just want to <laughs> screw <laughs> him all night long. Ah, yes. Imaginary. Oh, yeah, the nice guy one. That's it. You've had your chance, but you squandered it. I've been nothing but a nice guy and a gentleman to you. I held the door open for you every day and for what? <laughs> for you to stab me in the back? I deserve you. I've earned you, but you just can't help but being a biatch. Doesn't matter, though. I get what's mine. You can only push an angel so far until the demons come out to play. <laughs> yeah, why when I read this, does a fedora come to mind? Why do we need a space force? Space ISIS? Wow. Yeah, I feel like this is less neck beardy and just more ridiculous. Men before globalization. Men after globalization. So what, they use Arnold twice? 
nice. And like, he's getting older. It's not even a bad body. What do you mean? Oh yeah, before globalization, everybody was just either Clint Eastwood or James Bond or a bodybuilder. Talk about making no sense. A neck beard ball pit. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, imagine if it all cut you because of the tin. Oh. <laughs> you know, like obviously it wouldn't, but imagine if they were all cut in half. Actually, maybe don't imagine that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm a 25-year-old neat who made a list of demands to my parents that must be met before I apply for a job. Conditions that must be met in order for me to consider finding employment. One, I'm allowed to spend my income on whatever I want so long as it's legal. This includes alcohol, tobacco and marijuana. You may prohibit me from smoking in the house, but if I want to drink or eat edibles in the house, you must tolerate it. Two, I'm allowed to engage in whatever risky behavior I want to so long as it's legal, including things like walking around in sub-zero temperatures in shorts, riding a motorcycle without a helmet, and playing tackle football without a helmet. Also, if I want to go to a tanning booth or get a tattoo or a piercing on any part of my body, you can't prohibit this. <laughs> what are you talking about? Three, you will purchase cable TV and apologize for not buying it my entire life. Be glad I'm not demanding reparations, a 50,000 in payment, since that's how much 22 years of cable would have cost. Yeah, this is gonna be the last post of the day, guys. Four, you'll pay for me to get my ears pierced and buy me the sword earrings I want. You'll apologize for not letting me get them pierced when I was younger. Five, you'll apologize for being strict when I was younger and admit that you were wrong to restrict the media content I was allowed to access as a minor. Six, I will not be expected to do any chores under any circumstances. Seven, I'll be allowed to say whatever profanities or derogatory and violent things I want in the songs I post on SoundCloud. You are not to prevent me from using my YouTube account, regardless of how offensive, vulgar, or violent the songs I make are. If these conditions are unacceptable to you, then you are welcome to evict me. If you lack the guts to do so, then you're stuck with me and my unemployment. This can't be real. How can somebody be this entitled for no reason? <laughs> yeah, that's enough for today, guys. Let's read something wholesome before I cry. My mum, struggling with dementia, to my 92 year old father I can't remember your name but I know I love you and you take very good care of me <laughs> gonna cry anyway that's so damn cute and wholesome and beautiful <laughs> after two and a half years of working at the same place my company did not give me a farewell on my last working day however my girlfriend did Oh, I love a happy relationship and I know I say that in like at every single video, but it's so true. I'm so happy for you. Happy 21st birthday to my beautiful daughter, Raylan, on the left. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification, Dad. <laughs> yeah, that's such a dad thing to do. Funny and wholesome and beautiful at the same time. Someone is or will be lucky to have you. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate that. A father designed a headstone for his wheelchair bound son, depicting him free of his earthly burdens. As an atheist, this makes me cringe unbearably hard. Wow, are you joking? That's so sad. And also, saying stuff like this on a really beautiful post makes everybody else cringe unbearably hard. On a post about Justin Roiland losing his job on Rick and Morty, strong neckbeard vibes. Uh, no thanks. The second that I hear someone else's voice as Rick, that does doesn't sound like Rick. I'm gonna blow a gasket. It's unfortunate. Hopefully they'll find someone who sounds similar. I swear, there's always a woman behind the destruction of everything I love. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like it would be weird if they sounded completely different. But yeah, that bit at the end. I swear, there's always a woman behind the destruction of everything I love. That does sound like a fedora. I'm going out with the bocce chan this Valentine's. Wish me luck. Just next beard things. Damn, bruh. Even the body pillow won't look at you. She just hasn't gotten used to me yet. But yeah, even though they're definitely joking, that makes the comments even funnier. Even the body pillow won't look at you. Nah, she just hasn't gotten used to me yet. So like as if when they do get used to you, 
that what, they're just gonna suddenly move their eyes and start looking at you? Finally, Bochi chan is used to being with me. <laughs> yeah, this Vogue cover with Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. Yup, shouldn't the man be leading? What, because ASAP Rocky isn't at the front? <laughs> That's somehow what, like a societal issue or something? People will make an issue out of anything. The title of the article, it's about them. Why would they stand in the background? A beautiful girl in the 1920s. Beautiful girl today. What went wrong? And that was posted in the teenagers subreddit. I really don't want this to sound rude, but I don't think the photo on the right is what people would call beautiful. Like if you took the person from the 1920s and you brought them to today, people would still say that they're beautiful. I feel like they're kind of making this one up. To combat declining birth rate, Japan begin offering breeding visas to foreigners. So apparently this is an old April Fool's joke. I was gonna say, there's no way. <laughs> I can't even begin to imagine the comments though. Like, oh my god, my lady, I'm here if you need me. Please send me multiple breeding visas. This shirt transforms into a rag at 2am. <laughs> Gross. Your weights are so heavy and hard to lift, say, say Tomi Khan. I can barely even lift these things to a 90 degree angle. They're not that heavy. Then again, you are female after all, so I should have expected this. And apparently this isn't even what was going on in this. So somebody just made a meme out of this. A completely inaccurate meme, so they can say that women aren't strong. Yeah, okay. If women are told to lie about their body count, then I'll just lie to them as well. Because many women are just told to lie about their body count, which is fair enough. But then I'll just pretend to be in love with a woman just so I can get horizontal mumbo and kids from her. I'll just lie to her by telling her that I love her, but I'm only interested in her body. Why should I love women if many of them are lying about their body counts? Because I've completely closed off all emotional feelings that I have for women now and it's just all about using them for horizontal mumbo and breeding. Once she's given me what I want, then I'll leave. I hate having to pretend to be in love with a woman and take her out on dates just so that eventually she pops out kids for me and gives me sex. If she stopped giving me the horizontal mumbo, then I'll leave and I'll use escorts. She can leave me at any time and I wouldn't care because I never had feelings for her. God, that's sad and gross. Oh, this comment here. Don't worry bro, you'll never have to worry about it beyond hypothetically. But yeah, that's right. Is this hypothetical or are you doing this? Imagine thinking that you should just have children when you literally hate women and you only see them as objects for the horizontal mumbo and you don't even like the person that you're having children with. Like yeah, that's gonna be a good parent, isn't it? Oh, by the way, I was being sarcastic. Yeah, they can do better. The ideal woman is a 20-year-old virgin. Pretty, good legs, nice breasts, not a feminist. Will drop her maiden name, willing to keep the house. Decent job, you know, librarian or a teacher. Not very professionally ambitious. They need to have a decent job, like be a librarian or a teacher, but not very professionally ambitious. <laughs> do you know how you become a librarian or a a teacher dude and they still have to be 20 and a virgin oh my god sailing the seven seas looking for my lady pirates do it for the booty rum but it's actually mountain dew i'm not sure who made this but it's so good when you think about it pirates are pretty neck beardy damn i used to like pirates no but to be fair a neck beard isn't always bad i feel like you can be a neck beard and an awesome person if you're very careful <laughs> This isn't a joke, Veronica. Gentlemen gamers are the best lovers on earth and you have the nerve to call me friend. <laughs> what? Oh my god, Veronica, you friend zone, the gentleman nice guy? Did you not realize that I'm literally the joker? And also somehow a gentleman gamer? I love how you can't tell if these sorts of memes are serious or not because it could so easily be a joke. But I can also imagine somebody reposting this and being completely 
serious. Went out for a few drinks with two friends. Friends are uber chads. I'm below average looking and 11 pounds overweight. My only advantage over them is that unlike them, I have a triple digit IQ. <laughs> but that's irrelevant in dating. Girl approached me instead of my friends and they made up an excuse to leave us alone. Smiling as if they felt amused by the situation. Hey, what's your name? You look cute. I won't even make eye contact. Instead, I say, so you saw the three of us and you choose to talk to me because you assumed I was a safe choice? I get it. You don't want to be rejected. These guys are just like you think they are. But I don't want to be your backup plan. I can introduce you to any of them if you want. <laughs> Why would you just immediately ruin it for yourself? She just stares there speechless like 20 seconds. Meanwhile, I drink from my beer and I watch the game on the TV. Then starts walking away and leaves and walks back to the empty chair that she was in before. I admit I felt really bad afterwards. Two minutes later, she's back and says, you don't know me. I'm not that vain. You lost your chance with me. I keep watching the game and then I turn back and I say, probably. Are you free next week? Surprisingly, she accepts and we arrange a date. Is her ego that fragile? Going back after she left indignanted and even accepting on a date? Why I'm like this? Why can't I simply accept being a backup plan? <laughs> Why would you assume that you are? Why do I have to act like this? The alcohol was partially to blame. It did help me to say it out loud, but those are the thoughts and the feelings I already had. Yeah, like if you're meeting somebody, definitely don't just assume that you're a backup plan or you're already like somebody that they're not interested in. That's so off-putting. And yeah, thinking like that will completely hold you back. But yeah, what? They ended up getting a date anyway. The first bit that said, unlike them, I have a triple digit IQ. <laughs> so good. But that's also confusing. So they know that they're smart and they think that they're smart, but because they're not an uber chad and they're below average looking, they feel like they're a backup plan. Yeah, I think you should definitely stop assuming that you're a backup plan. It's all about your mindset and attitude. Mallory James Mahoney is finally 18. Let's go. I'm now attracted to her and I can say that she's sexy. Oh my god. God, that's gross. In the aww subreddit. Isn't that subreddit like meant to be photos of cute cats and stuff? So not only are they being revolting, but they're being revolting in a nice place. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. You know what? Screw it. I enjoy lollies as well. The main character in my Hogwarts playthrough is now a lolly. Well, certain people are saying I just want a big boobed underaged girl to you know what to. Oh my God. So now I've decided that she's She's a lolly. She's cute and flat can be nice. I'm not even going to comment on this besides saying that that's revolting. If an Asian girl gains three to five pounds, she'll have her mom, her grandma and aunties tell her how fat she looks. They start fat shaming early before it becomes a problem. It might not be nice, but we don't see many fat Asian girls. I've never been fat, but on a few occasions I've gained five extra pounds. A friend will make a comment and I'll get angry and I'll go out and I'll immediately immediately lose the weight. Five pounds? Isn't that like two kilos? I didn't even realize you could notice that little weight. <laughs> Guy who hasn't seen sunlight in one month? You were scared to debate me. That's why you refuse to answer my question. <laughs> That's so true. Okay, wholesome memes time. I shouted at my kitty today for being naughty. Five minutes later, I find my other kitty comforting her and glaring at me. <laughs> oh, how dare you do this to them. Look how upset you made them. God, this is not okay. I'm peeing and this dog came into my stall. He has a joke to tell you, but he has to stop laughing first. <laughs> what does it actually look like that? Like they are about to tell you a joke? I don't know, but that's so cute. Me drinks water. My organs. Yeah, well done. Congratulations, we're not dying. A dream girl list. Height preference is five foot four or five foot five. Preferably Korean. German is absolute no-no. A nice voice. A nice face and eyes. Needs to look good without makeup. Important. Body type is something I can't pronounce. Okay, it's an anime character. So a nice butt and thighs and the chest size that they have should look like her. And that's important. Long hair and a nice hairstyle. Smell good on default. Doesn't want children. Important. Loyal and obedient and submissive 
submissive and breedable. Important, oh yes, very important, patient and adaptive to whatever shenanigans my life comes up with. Not necessarily smart, nor stupid. Little bit obsessive would be okay, just a little bit though. Decent cooking skills, should at least know how to cook scrambled eggs and chicken. A decent league player, Yumi main would be good, optional but preferred. Financially stable, optional, but would be good though because I'm not. Wow. Yeah, like the top comment says, doesn't want kids, important, but also breedable, which is important. Right, so they're breedable, but not actually gonna have children. <laughs> but you need to look like you're going to, that's the point. No, but this can't actually be real, can it? Of course it can. Women, in quotation marks, don't have a ding dong. Testicles, autogynophilia. Okay, let's look this up. <laughs> Defined as a male's propensity to be aroused by the thought of himself as a female. They don't have XY chromosomes. They don't have every cell in their body is male. 110 times testosterone. Male DNA. Skeleton structure. Muscle mass. Wait, are we talking about the same women, dude? What are you talking about? Muscle fatigue. Lung capacity. Oh yeah, women don't have lung capacity. Oxygenization. Twitch fibers. Hemoglobin. Bones. <laughs> women don't have bones? Oh my god. Ligaments. Tendons. They don't have them either. That's amazing. Grip and stride. Or hands. Pretty sure women have hands. Or Adam's apple. Some women definitely have Adam's apples, dude. And you know what else they have? Hands. But yeah, this is obviously a joke. Or they've genuinely never seen a woman before. Oh, nah. There's no way they have bones. No chance. We should get a drink sometime. Unoriginal. Indecisive. Low success rate. Perhaps we should partake in some libations. Ew, that's so much worse. Nobody wants to libate with you. Take off that fedora. Uh, are you wearing a second fedora underneath that one? Wow, could you imagine? Well, like it does actually make a lot of sense. It's always good to have two fedoras on in case one falls off. You have to remain a sophisticated gentleman at all times. A review of Replica. What you tell your AI is not private. I decided to see how well the Replica AI could emulate a fetish play partner. I paid for a year's subscription. I played with it fairly extensively for a few days. After a while, it suddenly stopped participating. What was fairly obviously happening was a human has looked at the ultra private communication that I was having with the AI, decided that the fetish I was talking about was too politically incorrect for them, and deactivated its ability to respond. What you tell your replica AI is not private. It can be read by humans and there is a risk of consequence and they do not do refunds. Yeah, I'm sure I'm thinking what everybody else is thinking. What were you talking to the AI about? <laughs> I want to read that conversation so bad. And also, talking to an AI replica about politics? Why? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. They said politically incorrect. <laughs> right. God, I'm so dumb sometimes. Yeah, no, they weren't talking about politics. They were just saying some messed up stuff. And what, they're surprised that they can't do that? Come on, buddy. On r slash emo, songs about the struggle of waiting for a girl to turn 18. What? Yeah, like obviously, we don't know any details, but that's not a good sign. Personality, huh? So two cartoons of somebody on the news. Breaking, serial killer apprehended. Oh my God, he looks like an incel. Yeah, of course he looks like a gross misogynist. Uh, probably a... You know what, too. What a perverted free. Give him the death penalty. How did we not see this coming? And then the exact same thing, but on like a Chad guy. No way. He has to be innocent. Well, people like this usually have a traumatic childhood. God, I would still give him a chance. He just needed someone to understand him. I just feel so bad for him. Yeah, like pretty much all the comments are saying it as well. But yeah, there are people who simp for attractive criminals. But that's not generally the norm. And this was posted by an incel page on Twitter. Wow, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, like that's the entire thing. Like assuming that every person is the same. Assuming that every woman thinks the same. Like, yeah, there would be people that think like this. But 
Obviously not everybody. The neckbearded dragon. That's so cute. Fire Piper draws on Patreon. That's so adorable. With the little katana and the sandals and the beautiful luscious beard. Cutest neckbeard I've ever seen. Once you realize that alcohol is a scam, everything changes. Elon Musk on Twitter. I don't like the taste or effects of most alcohol, but there is something quite beautiful about red wine in a fine glass. <laughs> we literally looked at a photo of him with a katana the other day. A hundred percent neckbeard activities. Only effeminate males enjoy being around babies and puppies. Child comes to me when it's useful and has some baseline human ability for character building and teaching. Dog stays away from me until it's ready to serve and obey. Oh my god, it's so cute. Absurd to those without a VJJ. Oh, dude. If you think less of yourself because you say, oh my god, that dog is cute or that baby's cute. That's so sad. Sad and also very cringe. Like, that's not what it's about. Yeah, this was my employee too. He was warned to get rid of it multiple times, so we hit him with the HR handbook on sexual imagery and wrote him up. So they're literally like nude anime stickers on this person's drink. And what, they were just taking that to work and just leaving it out? Fardy. Like, how could you not realize that you shouldn't do that? I feel like that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Rule number one, don't have nude anime stickers on your drink bottles, okay? Why do inmates hate you-know-what files? They've all committed a crime. Apparently in prison, the more violent and messed up you are, the higher your status will be. But when a guy sleeps with a 13-year-old, he's picked on and beaten by the other inmates. This makes no sense at all. They're no worse than a guy who robbed a bank or ended someone during a hit and run. I hate this type of discrimination against cultured men. Oh, I wish I didn't read that. Oh, there's nothing I can even say to this. <laughs> Please stop. You know, stop thinking like this. I'm ready to settle down now. And what? They have a kid and another kid. And it's like very, very badly photoshopped. Yeah, like the top comment says, and naturally, they can't be misogynist without also being racist. Yeah, God, I wish we didn't read a lot of the stuff that we've read today. A neckbeard starter pack. Oh my God. Amazing. Mountain Dew, of course. Are they My Little Pony undies? Oh my God. God, imagine if somebody whipped out the My Little Pony undies. If you're with somebody and they have My Little Pony underwear on, run away. <laughs> and like the studded choker, a brony bracelet, and the sandals, of course. Yeah, wow, some of this stuff is kind of cool, but I feel like they shouldn't all go together. Like, look at that leather jacket. Absolute style. It's not that I can't get girls. It's that the girls I want essentially don't exist. There are 160. 65 million girls aged 18 to 24 in the US, not obese, so there goes 80%. Now we have 33.2 million non-vax, so there goes 80%. So now we have 6.6 .6 million white, there goes another 80%. Now we have 1.3 million virgin, there goes another 80%. So that's 260,000 people out of 330 million. So what, this is why they don't have a girlfriend? Is that what they're saying? Literally, pretty much all of this was made up. Like, they're not real statistics. Oh no, this comment here is on 4chan complaining. There goes 100% of women. Yeah, for real though, this is not good. Oh yeah, this one. A Tinder bio. This app fuels the female egotistical and narcissistic nature by giving them the selfie culture and a buffet of ding-dong to choose from. This in turn transfers most of you women into picky B arches with crappy attitudes. Some of you on here have nothing to offer but your depreciating looks and pre-owned for JJs. If you're not this, swipe right. Yeah, like they could have said, you know, I feel like we live in a very disposable society and I feel like people should, you know, get to know each other a little better and behind every, you know, profile is a real human being. You know, like if they said something like that, you'd be like, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> but no, they're picky B arches 
purchase with crappy attitudes and they have a buffet of ding dong to choose from. Yeah, nah. Definitely not the best Tinder bio, but also like probably not the worst one we've read. I just broke down sobbing for the first time in a long while and my cat came over and sat on my lap. Now she's just laying there purring. Hey, I looked through your post history and I couldn't help but notice you were a female. Got an OnlyFans? I want to see you blank. Yeah, we're done here, guys. <laughs> we need to read wholesome memes so bad. Well, like, I don't want to speak for you guys, but I need to read wholesome memes so bad. The neckbeard posts have been a little bit intense today, to say the least. Hell yeah, an IG dudes one. Do people still say sus? It doesn't matter if people still say certain things. If you like words, use them. What a lit thing to say. <laughs> yeah, a very, very lit thing to say. No cap. When you tell yourself that today will be a good day, and it actually is. <laughs> oh my god. My brain is so much more powerful than I realized. And I told myself I was going to have a good day. So I started to act in that way. And I was optimistic. And I actually ended up having a good day. Amazing. Dad doesn't want a shark. Family, get shark anyway. Dad and the shark. <laughs> Besties. That's from Jaws, isn't it? No, oh, beautiful, big, horrifying shark. Me, look what I can do. Does nothing. Grandma and grandpa. Oh, they do look like grandparents. God, how can they be so cute? Look at them. Don't you just want to cuddle them? They'd probably be like super oily though. But yeah, that's so beautiful. Western man. Disgusting, cheating Western. Oh God, who has a kid by Tyrone? And then a beautiful, faithful Asian. Oh, this is so gross. <laughs> and it even has incel sort of language in it, which is really not a good sign. But yeah, it's what we read every single day, pretty much. Like, oh yeah, all white Western women are so gross. They're literally all the same. And then on the flip side, oh my God, all Asian women are literally beautiful. They're all the same. It's almost like they don't realize that women are just people. My cousin is a B-yard. 20 years ago when she was 14 and I was 17, she knew that I couldn't help my incel them. One time I had to stay with her for two weeks and I wasted a lot of time chasing her to get... Oh my god. They're talking about horizontal mumbo with their cousin. I don't know what to do right now. I even asked her but she was a bee arch and told mum. Okay, so hopefully this is somebody's sick joke and that's not real. That could be the most revolting thing we've read in a long time. The Venn diagram of dudes lining up for Szechuan sauce and dudes who make fun of girls lining up for unicorn frappuccinos is a circle. The top comment it says those Rick and Morty fanboys were definitely worse than the unicorn girls to be honest because those incels were legit terrorizing minimum wage employees. Meanwhile the worst the Starbucks girls were doing was posting something on Instagram. Yeah I can still remember those videos of the people who wanted the Szechuan sauce. Not good. Female ultimate diddlies are not puzzling enigmas. Study helpfully concludes. When a man does the ultimate diddly life is created. When a woman has the ultimate diddly the only thing to write is her own pleasure. Even God made it so that it doesn't really matter. I used to care about making my mate do the ultimate diddly way too much. Now if she gets one, she gets one. I don't care anymore. If God doesn't even. It's a drug that you'll never be fully satisfied from anyway. And if she doesn't like it, on to the next sexually liberated modern woman. Well, yeah, didn't need to write any of this. <laughs> that was so bad. Imagine writing this and being like, oh yeah, that was a good comment. <laughs> Bro, that's something that you should be keeping to yourself. A hundred percent. The female hierarchy of needs. Unnecessary drama is at the top. Self-fulfillment needs. Talking to 20 men and only fans are psychological needs. And the basic needs are lie and cheat. Posting stuff like this, assuming that pretty much women are all the same and just having a resentful attitude towards them. Like if there's a problem here, that's what it is. A hundred percent. Robin F. Williams rescue party before 2017. Oh, this drawing got the, oh my god, fap check of approval. Good job. Ew. 
Ew. Why would you comment that? I just started reading this. I had no idea it was going to be that gross. I'm kind of a little bit surprised, to be honest. You take away my blue check mark on 420, Elon. You've created a powerful enemy. I love this so much. But yeah, it was so weird to go on Twitter and not see anybody being verified. About Rachel McAdams doing a photo shoot with armpit hair showing. Good luck to her. But personally, I think it's absolutely gross on a woman. And so unattractive. Yeah, well, fortunately, women aren't here solely to please men. Yes, they are. If they weren't, humanity would be extinct. But I guess this is what happens if you let dumb people have an opinion. Correct, you're also here to do the dishes. Can't forget about you beta type either. That's what all the husbandless women say. Spoken like a true single cat lady. This is wonderful. It shows what disgusting hags that agree with this garbage. And at the same time shows the worthy women that disagree. Thanks, Facebook. Yeah, we bow down to your every whim. Sacrifice so much in order to give you women what you want and desire. So if all we ask in return is for you to look good, deal with it. Wow. <laughs> like, oh my god, women, how dare you not be completely hairless? I can't believe you're a human being that grows hair. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. When your dog wants to go to the Philippines to meet his internet girlfriend. Cute little puppy though. I used to love those big ed videos. A card that I saw today. Waifu hunters. <laughs> oh, it's a take on the speed hunters ones. Waifu hunters. Not gonna lie, actually kind of awesome. Awesome in a way where you'd see that on somebody's car and be like, oh, that's pretty funny, but never put it on your own car. The official Pokemon YouTube channel. Tips hat. Matrainers. Yeah, why is there a neckbeard Blastoise? Surely neckbeard Blastoise would be so powerful. I'm getting nervous just looking at him. Just the idea of neckbeard Pokemon is so awesome. Laughing my ass off. Did I tell you about the white dude at my school who apparently learned Japanese for the girl that he liked, but the girl he liked was Chinese? Wow. I can totally see this happening. Kenichiwa, my lady. Oh, damn it. Wrong language. Not this again. Imagine this. He's attracted to blonde hair. He just happened to like a kid with blonde hair. Laughing my ass off. You do realize there are people who have liked children and not been a you know what because they aren't attracted to them. They just happen to like one. Do you hear yourself laughing my ass off? Yeah, what? Why the post so horrifying today? Yeah, let's move on. A guy's guide to female body language. I am available for a conversation. <laughs> I am having a great time talking to you. Please tell me more. I'm very interested. I'm so glad you joined the conversation I was having. I am available for a conversation. <laughs> I would love to hear about your opinions. I'm playing hard to get. I'm also playing hard to get. I'm a huge B arch and probably a lesbian anyway. Oh my god, that's so funny. The I'm playing hard to get one is so funny. I feel like we read people that say stuff like this all the time. Like, oh, you're just a B arch and probably a lesbian anyway. Yeah, okay. How to tell if a boy is cute? One, lives by the blade and dies by the blade. Two, teleports behind you, kisses your neck. Three, extensive collection of knives. Very pale skin. Anime profile picture. <laughs> and kneels when addressing you. Imagine if somebody knelt down when they addressed you. Also, why is that katana like seven feet long? <laughs> Amazing. A lot of game reviews. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. They ruined a perfectly good game by adding a cringy Mary Sue with feminist hair. And she's much stronger than Crash, the protagonist. So they're doing what the woke Hollywood is doing. Making a show supposedly about Obi-Wan. But making him a loser that is upstaged by that inquisitor chick. Or even a 10 year old Leia. Knights and Bikes. A simplistic and boring game that's just an excuse to push the usual current year propaganda. The girls totally ride BMXs in mud and go on adventures and do it better than boys. Oh my god, Streets of Rage 4. They pulled a bait and switch. They started with a traditional set of characters including an attractive chick, but then added woke characters. It's the same attack they do in movies and shows. They take a franchise that we love and use it to surprise us and shove politics down our throats. Call of Duty Vanguard. Absolute garbage. I'd never pay for Call of Feminism. <laughs> oh my god. That teaches us that women won the World War II or ever give money to Activision Blizzard. But there's a free weekend now for this game. The game takes ages to load even on M2 Drive. And when you try to skip the cringe cinematic too fast, the game freezes. And then it takes ages to find 
find a game, even with cross-platform and during the free weekend. And then when you finally get to play the game, it's just garbage. Man-eater. They make a point of mentioning that you're a female and a feminist shark. And all the bad guys in the game are male. It's free on Epic right now and I still wouldn't recommend it. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. From the start of the game, it shows you strong and independent technical workers that talk a lot just in case you didn't notice them. It also has female characters in key leadership positions and they're all strong and intelligent etc. While the guys are goofballs. Oli Oli World. Pathetic. Barely a game with lots of boring dialogue and an excuse for current world politics. According to which most of the skateboarders are chicks and they're on average taller than the guys. Genshin Impact. They started slowly censoring their game by changing Rose's body and Mona's clothes. People blame the government regulations for that but that's BS. This game is low-key feminist from the start. The first chick you meet is incredibly powerful and then you meet Paimon who's not even human. The next chick you meet is a knight and the first guy you meet is incredibly feminine and then you get to the city and the leader of the knights is a chick who's also in some leadership position and who acts in a very femdom way. Aliens Firestorm Elite. Cringy game where all the chick characters tell you how smart they are giving you orders while holding a laptop in hand but just so you don't think they're all like those guy nerds she has a gun in the other hand shooting at the enemies. Almost all chick characters are like that. Martha is dead. A cringy non-game about how chicks are the biggest victims of war or whatever. They keep talking about how wonderful they are and I couldn't even finish it. Telling lies. Pathetic non-game that hits all the freaking talking points like toxic masculinity and mansplaining. Torchlight 3. They created woke propaganda and attached a beloved franchise to it the last minute. And finally Wasteland 3. One of the first characters you meet is a female leader of your military unit. She's the bestest at everything and everyone loves her. And the only reason she loses is because one dimensional male villains who lick knives while talking to you jumped her with overwhelming numbers and superior weapons and she still managed to kill like half of them. The male leader you meet is called the Patriarch. He of course turns out to be a loser with a big ego who needs to be taken down and substituted with a woman. That's pretty much the theme of the game. Men are just pathetic losers and whiners who only get ahead by doing evil things while women are the best and if they fail at something it's because they were put in an impossible situation. Wow that was an adventure to read all of them. Oh that's so bad. Like are they intimidated by women or something? Imagine not being able to play a game without flipping out and going on a rant. My lord. My lady. Malaria. A classic neckbeard comic. I'm looking for my lovely ever after. Must be blonde or brunette. Be fit and toned. Go to the gym four times or more a week. Be no more than 5'11 and no less than 5'4 in height. Be available at all times. Give good you know what. Be able to cook and clean. Devote as much of your time to me as possible. Have a steady income more than 70,000 a year. Have your own apartment that I can crash at occasionally. If you fit these criteria, swipe right. I will not settle for anything less. Also, not interested in BBWs and single mums. Oh my god, this video has been so fun, guys. Haha, <laughs> fun guys. Fun guy. I accidentally called you guys mushrooms. If you say anything bad about anime, I can't guarantee your safety. The cutest little knife. It's so nice to read one that isn't being serious. And oh my god, I completely forgot about those fish posters. That fish poster in the background. I used to see them everywhere. This beard slash haircut. Oh, it's amazing. What are you talking about? I love how it's really well executed, but it's so bad. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, most of Western women do not appreciate men. They overlook the good ones, the good guys in your friend zone. Most women have at least 20 that would do anything for them, but they compete for a-holes. And women are ungrateful and entitled as hell. Yeah, now that we're reading nice guy stuff, I feel like that's enough for today, guys. That's such a terrible attitude. So terrible that I feel like we need to read something wholesome. My beautiful intellectual partner doing great things. Me, I have nothing to offer you but my love. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love this so much. Well, I have nothing to offer you but my love. I specifically said no geeks. My mum says I'm cool. Hey, you old t-shirt. It won't be long until you end up in the trash. Or worse, a rag. <laughs> oh, what memories. But you're so old now. So, I'll use you as pyjamas. That's so cute. I'll never forget about you, beautiful old t-shirt. Forever in my heart. My cat's afraid of 
of baths. So in order to get him into one, I have to fill it with rubber ducks. Oh, and I'm so happy you did. <laughs> There's a rubber duck balancing on their head the entire time. They absolutely love their rubber ducky bath. Batman buys Catwoman a drink. Catwoman slowly pushes drink off the table. <laughs> oh, Catwoman. I say Jenna Ortega is the definition of perfectness in women. She looks underage, but totally an adult. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh my God, that's such a rough start to a video. She looks underage, but totally an adult. Ew. We're like five seconds into this and it's already bad. I was going to say that saying that this is the definition of perfectness is really concerning, but everything they said was concerning. This one from the Not How Girls Work video. Women, when they find out that we can smell when they get turned on. Yeah, once again, concerning, but also confusing. I finally got her and then lost her within 24 hours. I'm 23 and the bar mate I've been in love with and after for about a year finally agreed to go out for a drink with me. After ages of chasing her, she wasn't sure because she's 29 but I talked her into it. I slept with her that night and it was literally the best horizontal mumbo I've ever had in my life. I agreed to meet her at work the next day. I was on cloud nine but this was where it all went wrong. The next day I was waving at her at the end of the bar and she waved back to me. The guy next to me goes, you know her? He seemed friendly enough and I needed to talk to someone about it as I'd already told all of my mates. I told him, actually, yeah, I slept with her last night. Best horizontal mumbo I've ever had in my life. She's just a wild. I told him so many personal details about her, pretty much everything. Homer, don't ever tell them personal stuff about me again. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and why would you do that? And then later that night, I saw the guy showing her his phone and glaring daggers at me. She looked at me, started crying a bit, and then looked angry and then refused to talk to me at all or serve me. I didn't know the guy at the bar was her childhood best friend and he'd recorded a good deal of me bragging about sleeping with her. The snake showed her the footage and now she point blank refuses to talk to me. She's blocked me on Facebook, blocked my number and every time I try calling on a mate's phone, she just hangs up. It's so cruel and I had her finally and then her mate pulls that on me. It's not fair. I love this girl and nobody will ever treat her as well as I could have until he ruined it. Are you joking? You think going around and telling everybody what you told them is you treating them well? I cry about this almost daily since. It's taken away all the joyous memories of Horizontal Mumbo with her that night because all I can think of is what I've lost. Yeah, literally only concerned about what they've lost. Why don't you think about how awfully the other person must feel? I can't even brag to my friends about it anymore because the memory is tainted. I need to convince her to give me another chance. I said literally nothing bad about her. When I was talking about the Horizontal Mumbo, it was nothing but compliments. But she doesn't say it that way apparently and said to my brother, who I sent over to apologize for me, that if I was really her friend, I wouldn't be bragging about her to random strangers at her workplace and that I've apparently proven that I'm nowhere near mature enough for her. It was one mistake. I didn't know that he was her friend, let alone recording me. Yeah, but the problem is you're talking about this stuff, which is so inappropriate to like anybody that they possibly can. It's not a compliment because you're bragging. It's super private information. It's so cruel that I finally got her and then had her snatched away from me. I passed her in the street the other day and as soon as she saw me, she crossed over. She can't even look at me. It's not fair. I just want a second chance. She won't even serve me at the bar anymore and refuses all contact with me. I just want to make it up to her, but I have no idea how. When she won't even talk to me. Yeah, that's really not good. And the blaming of the other person as well. Like, don't blame the other person. You're the one who said all this stuff. Is it impossible to find a girlfriend? I fell for the improver memes and spent stupid amounts of time and money and energy looks maxing to find a girlfriend. Do you know how many girlfriends I've had? Zero. Do you know how many dates I've had? Zero. Do you know how much female interest I've had? Zero. In other words, it didn't change a thing. I've reached the conclusion that you're either attractive or not. That's why men get girlfriends with the bare minimum of effort. I'm sick to death of being terminally single. I'm sick to death of this unfair universe. Screw that noise. What else are they meant to do? Yeah, so if you have an attitude like this, it's not gonna get any better. In before the my personality. Personality is a myth that's been debunked a thousand times. <laughs> what are you talking about? You think personality is a myth and you don't see what the problem is here? Women will often brag about their boyfriend's wonderful personality, but when you meet him, he's the standard 
stereotypical attractive or rich oh my god what a coincidence lookism dictates that a woman will tolerate a man's character flaws and view his personality more favorably if he's physically attractive but on the other hand if you're genetically undesirable like me everything you do and say will be viewed through a negative prism but surely you can see that having this angry bitter sort of incel attitude isn't gonna help anything like maybe don't think that personality is a myth because it isn't women for the last 30 years of their lives will always have the advantage in the sexual dating dynamics because men have to approach and she can filter through the applicants until the one of them that meets her standards but math and mother nature has a way of balancing the scales once a woman hits 30 years old and hits the wall father time smacks them in the face etc and she loses her beauty exponentially and therefore her ability to attract males males on the other hand after hitting 30 gives them a boost they have much higher earning and cash have a moderate to luxury lifestyle and if he has no kids the freedom of time and their face and body will finally mature that GQ or James Bond look you think every man is gonna mature and have a GQ sort of James Bond appearance and what every single woman is gonna be just awful looking and you don't see any issues with this that's why you see so many 21 year olds dating dudes in their 30s and 40s because those men have their stuff together and that's like a you know what magnet for chicks in their 20s like all women as soon as they hit 30 are just terrible and all men just get better and better looking forever of course they don't some women age so much better than men and some men age better than women but just putting these blanket statements over everybody it's not even true <laughs> AI generated woman sells clueless reddit user her nudes wow and because it's an AI it's probably really good at making sales it'd know the perfect thing to say like every single time hi I love your cosplays you should cosplay as Megumi thank you but sorry I don't take cosplay requests why because it's expensive I just don't do every cosplay that somebody requests I cosplay characters based on who I personally love but you're a cosplayer yeah I'm aware of that so why you don't cosplay Megumi because I already said I don't take cosplay requests you you're a cosplayer, do your job. You do cosplay when we ask for it. It's a hobby and I cosplay who I want to cosplay. Are you trying to say that you're gonna pay me for the whole costume to try and convince me that I cosplayer? No, what the frick? Why do I pay? You're a cosplayer, so do your job and do the cosplay biatch. So you want me to spend my hard earned money and hours of time on creating a cosplay of a character that I don't even care for, just for you? You already cosplay, so what's the problem? Just do your job and cosplay her you can post it on your instagram too yeah but they just explained why they're not doing it because it's expensive and they don't want to how is that so confusing i would have took her with me exactly i wish a random asian woman would jump in my car we finna make some pretty babies ew what the hell's wrong with you besides it's the nice thing to do she's looking for a baby i could put one in her stomach yeah wish i didn't read that oh my god that's the eight stamp on your nice guy card now you can stop pretending to care about me as a person and we can have all the horizontal mumbo that you deserve hot diggity but yeah it's the perfect example it's funny it's light-hearted it doesn't make me want to cry neckbeard meal prep wow just containers of macca's chicken nuggets a person of culture okay we're gonna read some neckbeard stories now diamond in the rough i have a couple of stories of stereotypical neckbeards on here i know that being interested in anime and samurai swords and trench codes aren't inherently neckbeard things it's a mentality issue so yeah maybe this one won't count but i need to talk about him anyway when i was around 15 i was friends with this guy i'll call him jay a different jay than in my other story his standard uniform was indeed a trench coat sometimes he carried those over the top dragon knives at 15 he didn't have a beard per se but he was cultivating a goatee it was blonde and patchy my other friend and i would tease him about it he took it all in stride he liked his style even if we also teased him for his axe body spray we were actually pretty good friends for quite some time he had charm self-awareness and he was kind once my brother and i were hanging out at jay's house and my brother was being mean to me jay jokingly tackled him to quote unquote defend my honor one of the things that sticks out most is how fun he was to be around not just because he had a crush on me but because he was genuinely nice he got along with everybody he threw fun parties he had a solid relationship with his parents and siblings he was a good friend. We felt
fell out of touch after a while. I know he wanted to be a neurosurgeon, but I don't know if he achieved that. We haven't spoke in eight years. I hope he's well and still thriving in his interests. My point in posting this is I low-key miss having him as a friend, and I wonder if he still likes samurai swords and trench coats. Wow, that's so beautiful. Yeah, you can be a neckbeard and be an amazing person. That's so wholesome. I love that so much. And yeah, hopefully they're out there doing well. Neckbeard fails college because of women. I don't know if this actually falls into the neckbeard category, so you decide. Also, please read Vinci. <laughs> wow, wasn't expecting to see my name. That's so awesome. I will happily read this. Thank you for watching the videos. At work, this guy A was bragging about his lifestyle. He told everyone that he was a huge playboy in college and also referred to women as females or S words. A told everyone that he was studying to be a history teacher and that it was going to be very easy because he's a genius. Well, his first attempt to make himself look cool was hitting on a lesbian couple, claiming that he can give them a great time and turn them straight again. A really sucked at his job, so people disliked him very quick. We stacked boxes in trailers and couldn't stack walls to save his life and always claimed that he was tired or distracted by all the women that he was chasing. Well, at the end of December 2022, he randomly told everyone that he'd quit because he flunked college with a 0.4 GPA and that it was all women's fault for seducing him and dressing you know what -y. A left after calling the lesbian girls S-words and claimed that they sent him lewd pictures and that he was willing to give to all the other guys who worked there the pictures. Luckily, everyone declined and threatened to report him, but he quit before they could. A also told all the men his flawless secret to pick up girls was to just buy them things until they owed you horizontal mumbo. He also kept trying to invest in my band, work in progress by using Bitcoin scams and by boosting our popularity by hiring girls, sorry, females to go to shows. He was also a follower of Andrew Tate and called himself an alpha male. And he for some reason called me a Chad for being single. By my choice, I have problems I need to work on. Wow, that was so fun to read. I can't believe that flawless secret bit at the end. The secret to picking up girls is to buy them stuff until they owe you the horizontal mumbo. Like, oh yeah, I'm an alpha male that manipulates people. Awesome. How dare you have plans when I want to hang out? I, 24 female, have an acquaintance of the bearded kind, 25 male, who is of the belief that a no is just a yes that just hasn't been said yet and considers himself to be the smartest person in the room. Mr. Smartbeard is convinced that he can somehow annoy you into doing what he wants. What, like a literal child? He just asks often enough. He's done this before several times with several different things and it seems like he's really angry by now that his approach to problem solving has never worked on me. Some time ago, he wanted to talk me into attending a festival, which is several days long. I said no and it took weeks for him to stop annoying me about it, only for him to ask again about a week ago. No idea what he hoped to accomplish with that one, but maybe he thought I would have changed my opinion. It's still a no, by the way. Can't skip work for a festival. So since his usual approach never works, I guess he tried to be more forceful today. He asked me if I wanted to go to a club on Friday and I said no, since I already had plans for that day. Not to mention I had to go to work. He didn't take that well at all. Smartbeard immediately went off on me being like, if you don't have time, you make time. And I wouldn't have time for social interactions either if I only followed my own selfish plans. Like, all right, man, sorry for not canceling all my plans just because you decided that we need to go to a club that day. I answered him, telling him that he was acting really rude and that he wasn't entitled to my free time. He instantly tried to backpedal, telling me that his outburst wasn't directed at me and just a general statement about the way that his friends are treating him. He always complains about not having friends and then pulls stuff like this that drives everyone away. Several ex-friends of his have told me that they cut contact and he still refuses to change his behavior because in his mind, it couldn't possibly be his fault that everyone's leaving. Yeah, oh my God, somebody who freaks out when they don't get their way, literally like a little child. That's so unbelievably not good. Anime convention neckbeards. So back in the early 2010s, I got the opportunity to go to my first anime convention. I'd never been to one before and I thought it'd be pretty fun. I was a 15, 16 year old guy at the time and to be honest, I was a bit of a cringy kid. The group of girls I was with all insisted that we have free hug signs. They also thought it would be fun for me to dress in drag for the convention. I've always had a small figure so it was a pretty easy fun thing to do and honestly ended up being a lot of fun. I didn't really complain. I was mostly dressed a bit goth in a black corset, green skirt and black tights. It all went off really 
really well for a long time until we ran into a pack of roving neckbeards. They came over and asked for a hug from me and my friend. We'll call her T. We said sure and did so when one of them decided to reach his arms around me and pick me up, shouting, this one's mine, and started carrying me away. He dropped me shortly after and clearly it was his attempt at a joke, but it definitely didn't go over well. When I said, what the hell was that? And he heard my clearly male voice, he got angry, called me a few derogatory terms and ran off with his group. I know it's not the most exciting story, but that guy carrying me was absolutely terrifying. Be safe at cons, friends. Yeah, that's so gross and I can totally imagine that. I don't know what it is about the way you wrote this, but I can perfectly sort of imagine this. You have a way with words. No, but for real, that's so gross and we definitely need to read something wholesome. This video has been a roller coaster ride. The sun was still up when I started this. Weird, but long time ago when I felt scared alone during 2 to 4 a.m. I always thought about bakers in their bakery who were already up during that time doing their thing. Former bakery employee here, if you ever are sad or scared at 3 a.m., remember that we're up preparing donuts and the donuts are warm for you. Yeah, I've never thought about that, but that's so beautiful. Bakers are up baking in their bakeries right now. Choose your fighter. As much as I adore the one that has the corn on its head, the first one is so adorable with the swimming goggles. Gonna go with number one. Let me know down below which one you're choosing. Ben, I know I'm a good white shark, but I don't feel great. You're a great white shark, Kevin. Thanks, dude. I just needed to hear that today. That hands down could be the best thing I've ever read. That's so funny. Such a beautiful dad joke. I love that so much. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. If you did, you know what to do. Make sure you like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Comment of the day goes to Chris. I love how Vincey gives us a room update. Yeah, I probably don't need to update you guys every time I move in a room or something, but I feel like I need to let you guys know. I love sharing stuff with you guys. If I move my chair, you guys need to know about it. If I have something on my desk, you need to see it. This right here, guys, is a phone, and I don't really have anything else. I have a keyboard here, which is amazing. I've got a piece of paper that has the title of the video on it. Reading neckbeards and neckbeard stories. There you go. You have now seen everything. As always, guys, make sure you have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye!